All right, everybody. Hey, it's the Class of Cultures back. Um, as we are really kind of rumbling towards the end of the NBA season, um, I think it's a perfect time to kind of take a pause. I think we uh, most teams have about seven, eight games left in the season. Uh, we're getting ready to get into the playoffs. Teams are jockeying for position. Uh, but early, we want to get our all NBA teams. Uh, so we're going to look at all five people on the panel, uh, their first, second, and third all NBA team. And the defensive, uh, the all defense first team, just first team, right? Um, so everybody has and has submitted their first, second, and third team. I'm sure this is going to get into a lot of debate. Um, I'm sure we have a lot of differences in how um, how we perceive those teams, right? This is a different era. I think we would have looked at this in the 80s and 90s when most players were playing 80, 75 games. Uh, a lot of players playing 82 games. Um, that would have been uh, a lot easier list to come up with uh, to create. But in a le- in a year where, and let's just be honest, uh, LeBron has been out uh, for for a number of games. Steph has been out for a number of games. Uh, Anthony Davis has been out for a number of games. Kevin Durant's been out for a n- number of games. Um, so I'm really interested to see how how everybody ranks and makes their team, what their own criteria is. Uh, so we're going guard guard, forward forward center. So everybody must have a center. So we're not going back court, front court, um, but everybody must have a center. Um, and I'm, I'm sure that changed uh, everybody or some people's perspective. Um, so like I said, let's get into it. I'm excited to see how it goes. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Pretty good. I'm, I'm good. I can't wait to do this. I've everybody, I've obviously, no one knows it. Well, none of the viewers know this. Everybody in here does. But I know everybody's list. So I know who got snubbed. Um, and nobody knows each other's list. So it's going to be fun to kind of see what everybody else thinks about people's list. Um, Tap, I'm just letting you know. So before we start, on your defensive team, you had sent two names. Um, yeah, I ended so, up picking one for each one. All right, can you text it to me so I can make sure I have those so that way I can fix it before we start? I'm pretty you sure. I just two names. You're supposed to send five names. No, but he no, he sent two names for each guard. He was like, I don't know what I want to do yet, but it was like six hours ago, oh, and I never he never texted you. me back. So I just want to make sure. Um, let me hold up. Tab, do you have kids? You said, do you have kids? Do I have kids? No. No. When you were doing when you were doing the intro, I heard like a meow or something. That was my cat. (laughs) You heard a meow and asked if he has kids. kids. Yo, yo, that is crazy. Right. And you like Wiz Khalifa, so this is starting to explain some things. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was gonna text anyways. Okay, okay, for sure. All right, so we'll get started. So how we'll do this, let me take off this banner. So we have a slideshow. um, And (laughs) what's funny, bro? I can't wait to see the slideshow that took you two hours to make. No, you're not. You're not understanding. (laughs) Everything took me two hours because I had to average all of your guys' picks. Your picks. Let's get into it. Preston, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no. Preston, I just want to let you know, your picks threw off everything. (laughs) <laughs> everything you have four players in your top 15 that none of us even have That's let's, a, go, let's look at the list why are you trying to spoil yeah. no because this is what i'm trying to say so yes it took me two hours because i'm i'm doing mathematics with this guy's list that's why <laughs> you don't have All a right. calculator <laughs> I, no it, it wasn't that easy when you got 17 names to choose from out of a okay. first team pool. All right, let's get All into right, it. so for the for the first team it was kind of easy uh most people so this is let, let wait just explain this this is the average of everybody's picks right the top so this is going to be the top two guards, the top two forwards, and top center, right? Yeah. Okay. All righty. So for the first team, you got Luca, um, Dame, Jason Tatum, Giannis, and Joel. Next to it, obviously, is the first team votes. So Giannis was the only unanimous team out of a unanimous first team or out of all of us. Um, Dang, then you had Dame was they, the first team. Then you had. So we'll talk about that later, but that's going to be a, a good a good discussion. Um, but you had Tatum, who had four. Um, Tatum's going to be a big discussion, Preston. Um, yeah, I forgot about him. That's okay. Um, you don't have him on your list at all? I have him on defensive. So how did you forget about him? I'm going to that Wiz Khalifa, boy. <laughs> I mean, we, that can, Wiz Khalifa. we can kind of get into why. I mean, I don't okay. know how you want to uh, yeah. structure the conversation, but all right, all right, we, can get it, we can get into why later. Okay. Right, so, like I said, Luca, Dame, Tatum, Giannis, Joel, Dame, um, and I'm I'm shocked by that Dame in the first team. So so why do you say that though? 
I mean, I, I think, I mean, so when I looked at the number of guards uh, that I really, that I was considering for first team, I mean, as you know, uh, you know, obviously I didn't have Dame and I won't get into my list yet, uh, but I was looking at three guards. Obviously I had Luca, um, Shy, and Ja. Those were really my three. I, uh, and again, Shai. no knock to Dame. <laughs> no, his name is Shay. Shay, Shy, you know the dude, the dude to play for OKC. Uh, but those were really my three. Um, my, and, and, and no knock to Dame, but we're talking about a guy who has now shut it down for the season, um, who's played 50. And like I said, I, I'll be honest with you guys, and I know the criteria for all NBA team is 50. But, I mean, Dame at this point in time is not playing the rest of the season. He's played 58 games this season. He is going to miss 24 games this season. Um, missing 24 games this season is impactful to me, right? That's, what, about – about a third, a little bit less than a third of the season that he missed. I can't, I can't put him all over people um, that have played more games. And 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 to me, and again, this is Damon's had a hell of a year. No knock to him. Um, he's a hooper. Um, I, I I I I wish he got the pub that he deserves, uh, that his talent deserves. I know he plays in a small market in Portland, but 58 games to me, I couldn't put him over Ja, who has his team. Uh, the number two, the number two seed in the West. I couldn't put him over Shea, right? Shy, whatever the dude name is, the, the dude, uh, uh, the dude for OKC. Uh, again, a guy who who took a team that lost their first pick, their 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 first round pick this year, um, and has them on the brink of the playoffs. Even though we're talking playing, right? I couldn't put him over those guys. Um, again, missing twenty four games uh, this year. That's just me. Like I said, everybody makes their list their way. Yeah, I was going to ask, so do you guys have, like, a? is there anything that might be out of the ordinary that's a part of your criteria? So, I mean, as you know, so I, I did, uh, and, you, and as I'll talk more about it when you see my list, but games played uh, was a big part of my criteria, right? I, stats versus games played, uh, played played a part of my criteria, absolutely. I mean, for me, I did minimum um Literally, Stephen and me talked about it earlier today, but he said the minimum is 50. I think I put mine at 55, but I had decided this as of yesterday. Like when I was looking at everyone that's played, I think I made it at 55. Um, but then uh, when Stephen called me, he's all like, well, they voted based off 50. I'm like, I'm going to just keep it by 55. And I think a lot of my players at least played 55 or more. Yeah. And, and Stephen will tell you, so I had Dane. I didn't have him on the first team. Um, and like I said, I, long story short, I dropped him down, literally uh, looking at the number of games he played mm-hmm. and then remembering that he is shutting it down for the rest of the season. So he's not playing, you know, we talk about seven games. He's not playing another game this season. Right. What about uh, what about you, Stephen, or Top? Uh, well, so the way I made my list was a mixture of both, um, but I went strictly off of the 50-game mark. Um, so, like, obviously uh, – like, for example, KD had a great year, but, I mean, he's better than a lot of these players, but he I didn't even think about him. And it's because yeah, he's Katie, been hurt. Katie's not on yeah. my list. He, I didn't even think about him because I knew that he's not even eligible to, to be on an actual NBA team, an all-NBA team. So there's no point for me to put him on the list. So it, that's the same thing with Zion. Um, and then, I mean, I also looked at part of my criteria was, I mean, part of it was winning, but then part of it also was the situation that you're in. Um, yeah. Because, I mean – I mean, if you just look, so Dame's not going to make the playoffs. OKC is on the brink of making the playoffs, but they may not make it. Um, so there's a there's a lot of players that are. I mean, even Luca is out of the playoffs right now. But I think yeah. a lot of it comes down to like the situation you're in. And so if it was strictly based off of wins, then I'd have a lot of my 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 list would be completely different. Um, okay. But I made mine based off of stats, your availability, um, your efficiency, um, and I mean winning as well. So it, it's really a mixture of everything. Um, it, it depends on the player, and I think as well as the situation, I kind of just – it was like a case-by-case case basis, I guess. Mine was pretty much the same. Uh, I didn't really necessarily – games played to me doesn't really matter. Uh, it's more about team success and stats. What do you mean it don't matter? <laughs> it don't matter. You can't tell me Kawhi Leonard's not a great player. Bro, if you if okay. you Kawhi Leonard on this list, Yo, bro, I we're turning this whole shit off. I we didn't put Kawhi. Okay, all right, all right. But you know um, what I mean? Like I can't he, why we well he this came was all back. I got you, I got you. But regardless of the games that he's played, right? The Clippers have played without him. He came back and made an immediate impact on his team because of the level of star that he is. Yes, yeah, so, and what so, the value so, he has to the team. 
That so, doesn't take away from the Clippers organization at all. That so that doesn't take away to, from him for the fact that the Clippers are not at the place they would be if he played every game. It takes right? away. Like, like Clippers really are probably a a with with Paul George and Kawhi playing 82 games. This is probably a a a one two C team, right? The fact that neither one of them has has been able to stay healthy this season has impacted the Clippers. Yeah, but that that star caliber player that he is at the end of the day was going to show in the playoffs because he's going to show up for the playoffs regardless. Of but the all NBA team is not a play that there's a a separate. No. And, and that is why he's not on my list. Okay. But I'm just giving you an example of what I was kind of looking at. Luca, to me, is the most complete player as far as the guard. That's the reason I chose Luca. Yeah, I on respect Luca. I think. Right. Who didn't have Luca? But then we talk about team success. Who did have Luca in a first team? Me. I think I have him second team. And then the Damian Lillard. Honestly, to me, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> to me, Damian Lillard could have went on either one. It all depends on your personal criteria. Because yeah, stat wise, I mean, Dame is having a historic year, as far as all the things that he's broken in his career this year. So you can really rank him wherever. But then you think about Portland, and like you said, right, the market in Portland. Yeah, he can go wherever. It might. There's so, no so from I don't know Dame. I I said like I said if you if you took a hard line at, if I took a hard line at fifty games and I said if you play over fifty then I'm counting I'm not docking you. Dame absolutely would have been on my first team. I, but like I said, I docked him for fifty eight games, missing twenty four games this season. I I mean, you guys set the criteria. The actual criteria is fifty games. Um, so I think we all are in agreement with that. But for we, me, we're I not in agreement. With it. Well, tap might not be, but um, I think for me, my list is kind of flawed. Steven, you keep making fun of me. It is kind of flawed because when I was doing it, I did look at the players as like complete players, whereas first team all NBA is more offensive minded. And obviously we're doing defensive um top five as well but i was kind of looking at them as two-way players more so than just like no, i respect their it their impact only on offense um so that's where i kind of i respect unless you got like draymond green i respect i respect. I do not but that's i don't have luca because to me he's such like it's a glaring flaw he he's tall no, so he's, he's not like a no luca play. plays no defense you're right he's a big cone chris paul is a cone luca is a big cone so that and I, one thing about Luca that really turns me off to him as a player is just how he complains after every single play, like every single play that doesn't go his way. He'll Are cry you saying he wants rest. money? What were you doing? What was That's what he money? does to the refs whenever oh, yeah. he doesn't get the call he wants. So, I mean, he's obviously a great player, but I just didn't okay. put him. On. I put him on second team for that reason. All right, let's All look right, at well, the second team. Moving on to the second team. And he's got, hurt. Has he? How many? I mean, whatever. Well, he's back. He's back. But you got Shea, uh, Darren Fox, Julius Randle, Sabonis, and then Jokic on the second team. So obviously, so Shea had one first team vote, um, and then me. and then Jokic had two first team votes. Um, so who had Embiid on the first team? I had Embiid on the first team. Okay, so me uh, and Edgar had Jokic on the first team then. Um, and then and, are, and, and, and are, let me say this just as quickly. So. Um, when it was all front court, uh, or at least when I thought it was going to be two two back court players, uh, three front court players, I had both Embiid and Jokic on my first team. Um, so when we went true center, um, so then I had to pit Embiid versus Jokic, and I went back and forth on that. Um, it, it, it really, I, I was splitting hairs, um, so it wasn't something that I was so. Oh, it has to be Embiid. If I, I could have been convinced either way. Um, that that's very close. I mean, I, I think for me on that one, um, um, team success, obviously right now, Jokic has them as the number one seed. So I think that's what put him over. Um, no disrespect to Joel. I mean, but just um, like Joel's a, yeah. they're, they're the two seed in the East. It's not like mm-hmm. we're talking yeah, about. I'm not say, yeah. I'm not saying they're the a bad team in the East, but, um, I think for me, that's kind of why I put, uh, um, Jokic on, on first team, especially because it is in the West. I took that I said into, two, but they're the three. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, it is in the West, which is, uh, you know, pretty wild out there. 
But I mean, no disrespect to Embiid. Obviously, he's a hell of a player. Was that your little? Was that was that your little? <laughs> you trying to sneak that in? They're in the West, which is a little the wild, wild out there. Like, that was cute. That was cute. I like that. Bars. Nah, to me, Embiid and Jokic are interchangeable. Yeah. And the, we do this yeah. list a month ago. I'm putting Jokic on my list first, but I put Embiid. Um, One B. I don't think that's much of a debate. Say it again. I said it's 1A and 1B. You're I don't think the child porn? What the fuck is going on? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the little kids over there making He's trying weird to get noises. Somebody in jail. No, I'm on basketball reference and an ad just went off. I don't know what that was, bro. <laughs> I that's, just, that's, that's just that's just how the creep. Hey, hey, we about to cut that for for get me hemmed up because you watching something you ain't supposed to watch. No. <laughs> You took it there. R. Kelly. Like that. that boy's an R. Kelly. All right. Uh, can can I ask y'all a quick question? What's up? Who, who had De'Aaron on this on second team? I'm not hating. I'm not going to bash on him, but I just want to know. I did. did, did I, I, I had – no, I had him on third team. I had him on second team. And there, there I had no him on discussion. I had him on second team as well. I mean, if I'm being unbiased, he really should be on there because they've been balling this season. No, uh, like I said, I'm I'm not I hating. I, I have Donovan. I have Dono here. That's who I, I, I have. Donovan. I have Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, I have Dono. I have Dick De- De- on my third. I got Hold Donovan in third. Hold up. I just realized something. Go back to the first team. Go to the second team. Where the fuck is John Morant? We're gonna I talk had about John Morant on my second team originally. We're, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it right now. He's at the parade. I'm not putting John. I mean, I, I like De'Aaron Fox, and I know obviously John missed some games due to whatever situation. But there, I can't put I can't put De'Aaron Fox over John Morant. Why um, is that? Because John Morant's a better player. John Morant. Miss, what do Memphis is as Memphis, of right now. I disagree. What do you, you sound last crazy? Year? You told me that last year. You, you said De'Aaron Fox is better than John this year, right now. Right yes, now, right now, yes. he is. Right now, yes. yes. De'Aaron Fox I, is the I, most clutch player in the NBA right now. He has the most clutch buckets in the league. No, I don't, I don't agree with that. I think John's better than, and I love De'Aaron. I am a big De'Aaron fan. Um, I, I've been a big De'Aaron fan, but I don't think he's better than John Bryant. I think he's better as a player or right, right now. now I think he's I'm talking Bryant. about because you because you knocked you knocked Dame for games played. But John Morant is only going to have like two or three more games played more than Dame. No, it's the same. It's the same. How John's, many games only played, is... John's only played fifty-six games. Yeah, he's going to play another seven. Oh, so that so he'll put him at sixty-three if he plays all the games. He'll be at that's not two or three. Oh, okay, Aaron so Fox has played a lot. I think he's. he's that's what I'm saying. You said sixty-seven. If you say based off of games played, that that's that was your you, criteria. You said, no, 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 no. But you asked me who do I think is a better player. Not okay. who's played more games. So I said I knocked Dame. Real quick, real quick, I knocked Dame for my – Dame is on my list. So I'm who's higher, who's for, higher for you, Ja or De'Aaron Fox? Ja. So I my, had – my, my point is he played me. 10 more games in him. He's going to play 10 more games with him. And your criteria was based off of availability is what I'm saying. Uh, availability was a part of my criteria, absolutely. But again, when you're playing 63, how many? How many? How, again, I have a question. Jaron Fox is probably going to play like I 70 games question. total. Maybe I have 71. A question. Go ahead. What's I have up? A question. This jaw versus Darren. This is my criteria. This I originally had jaw, jaw, jaw on either my second or my third team, and I ended up taking them off completely. Once I, I didn't have them on my list either, bro. You're not. I took them off. Once I got to jaw is not on my list. To Shea, Jaws, me yeah. Once I got to Shea and Darren Fox, I cut him. De'Aaron Fox, if you take De'Aaron Fox off the Kings, do the Kings win? Any game. Do the Kings Have you win? seen that? That Kings uh, team is good. T- time out. If you stacked. take De'Aaron Fox off the no, Kings stop. right now, are the Kings going to win games without them? No, they're not. I mean, are they are you, as good of a team? De'Aaron they are Fox not. Is, is they are legitimately not. a great ja, point guard. You took the John Grizzly Memphis and they still won. Last season in the playoffs. Well, well, well. So you're telling me Jaws not that you're telling me Jaws not the alpha on that team on the number two he team in the best West? He's the alpha on, on the team. team. He's the they alpha on the team without him though. That doesn't I mean he's better than De'Aaron Fox right I think, now. I think if we I don't go, feel comfortable. Hold on, I don't even feel comfortable with y'all calling John Moran an alpha. That's that sounds corny to me. He ain't no alpha. I mean, he's All the right. who's the he is the anyway. the number one option on that team. What I'm getting at is the Grizzlies win without him. That does not. Take I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Player on the team. I think off the. I think. If you look player for player, I would say the Kings 
the Kings supporting roster is neck and neck with Memphis's. One hundred. You're, you're, wait, 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 wait. You're only saying yeah, that now because the Kings yourself. are good right now. Yeah, you but that's what we're this talking about this season. season. Yeah, but but my my point is, if they weren't winning, Sabonis is a legit is a yeah, legit all star. I think Sabonis is. is the best. I, I player on that is probably one of the biggest. Is one of the best shooting big men in the league. Um, okay. We, Malik got Monk is a spark plug. They have a. Kevin they have Hurley. a. They have players. Kevin Herter is. Saying, yeah. What I'm trying to get at is. Grizzlies win without Ja. The Kings don't win without De'Aaron. That shows impact. That's what I chose De'Aaron Fox. So well, we him. don't really know if they win without him because because he, he never misses a game. Right. Okay so, then. Yeah. Back I mean, to the criteria. Respect to De'Aaron. I mean, he's he, if like I said, if I and, and when I got to this point because I kind of had my number set right, and I thought both of these players were going to be over that number. Um. So. I, I respect anybody who, if you say my criteria was based off of um, the fact that De'Aaron played more games. Now, we got to also remember this wasn't due to Ja and I, you know, if we talk immaturity issues or whatever, long story short, yep, Ja missed games. Um, so if you say my criteria is based on the fact that De'Aaron was available for more games than Ja, I'm 100% with it. I do not, however, believe that that, that De'Aaron is a better basketball player than John Martin. Again, that's me. Either. But I, I don't. I also, but I also don't think Julius Randle is a better basketball player than LeBron James. But at but what, what but, we're but talking I mean, about, but that that yeah. It, if do I believe that if the number of players that we've talked about, right, the Steph, the LeBron, the KD, the Zion, do I think if they all played seventy games that this list would be completely different? Absolutely. Yeah. So that's my only point. Is- but it, but again, I, I'm, we're talking about like I said, my number was sixty. That was my number, right? Over sixty. I'm, I'm, I'm considering you play a portion of the season, and I'm kind of calling that all a wash. Under 60, I kind of said, okay, I got to look deeper into this, right? Which is why I bumped Dame. Dame is on my list, but I bumped him down because he's not going to meet 60. That was my personal number criteria. Like I said, if I look deeper into it, if I'm looking at impact this season, specifically in terms of availability, yeah, I got to give I got to give De'Aaron a little bit more of a nod than, than Ja. Because he, he is obviously going to be available because I think he's going to play something like 74 games. Uh, Ja's going to be like at 63. Um, so, yeah, I, I agree with that. But I think Ja is a better basketball player than the Aaron Fox. I would say if I was starting a team, I would pick Ja as well. I would pick Ja over him too. I just think De'Aaron Fox is having a better season than him. Just, I mean, I don't think De'Aaron Fox is better than a name that we haven't said. And there's a name on here. So De'Aaron Fox, and I'm just, I'm going to go off numbers. 25.3. 6.1, 4.2. No knock. And he's shooting, ja, like 51, he's shooting 51% as well as ja, a point guard. Ja, 26.8. 8.1, 8.2. Um, and you're right. Higher field goal percentage. So about a 5% higher field goal percentage. But outside of field goal percentage, and again, I'm not, I won't go into every number, but Ja's averaging more points, I believe more assists, and more rebounds. Now he's doing it in less games. I, I agree, but if you're it, again, if we're if we're saying, hey, if they both played the same number of games, who had the better season? Well, Josh beating him in every major basketball stat. Yeah, but and I also look at impact. That's what. And, I yeah, but and I, yeah, yeah, and you also got to look at the situation. You have, I mean, Ja is the primary everything on that team. I can say the same. So, so, but we didn't. We didn't. And again, before Luca got Kyrie, Luca was the only player on the on Dallas who could score a basketball. Yeah, and Luca's on the first team though. I, I'm not knocking right. Luca. So, for that. so if you're knocking, if I'm saying if you're knocking Ja for being the person who's no, 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 ball no, no, dominant no. on his not, team, no, 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 it's not the same thing. I'm saying you're comparing Fox to Ja. So to say he's averaging one more point, two more assists, another rebound, he's not playing with and more wins. Okay. I can't. No, I can't. He, no, I can't, he, I can't he, he didn't even have more wins than him because half the time he wasn't even playing during those games. I, no, well, the Grizzlies went on a, a seven-game win streak without Ja. Ja yeah, did not like, attend for that. Like I said, if we're talking the availability, are I'm, I'm, cool. Memphis. I'm cool with it. But let's not say De'Aaron is having a better season than Ja because he is not. Statistically, he is not having a better season than Ja. What What is Ja's record? I mean, what's Memphis' record without Ja? I, don't, I mean, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm just saying, Memphis won the last seven games, and he's only been a part of the last two games. 
And I'm pretty sure he came up with that. And they, but, I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm with you. Hey, y'all better be are you, are you telling me you believe Memphis is a better team without John Morant? Are you telling me that no, this Memphis not, no, team, that's not, that's that was, not what he's saying. That's that, not was, what I'm that saying. was a bottom dweller. That just goes to show the caliber of the team. John ja Morant is the best player on that team. You take him out, they're still a successful team. You yeah, take I, the I, Aaron Fox out. I don't that team I think I function. think With I think that King's team in terms of I don't think so. the the supporting cast is just as good as Memphis. But see the problem the problem is we'll never know. But yeah, we do know but we do know Mem but we do know Memphis won without okay, Jaw, is what he's saying. So so I just looked it up. So the Grizzlies record without Jaw this year is eleven and eight. Okay, so, so they won. So, yeah, so that's that the is record. below their their normal winning percentage. Above five hundred, though. Yeah, yeah, they're they above five hundred team. Back, they weren't. They're back. a they're a almost a sixty six percent win win percentage team. I mean, sixty four percent win percentage team. So eleven and eight is far from that. How far away is that? It seems about the same. <laughs> Yeah, let me do let me, for for, Maybe, for those of you at like, home. Like sixty percent? Is that sixty? I don't think that's sixty. Eleven divided by nineteen. It's got to be. It's more than fifty-five. Yeah, yeah, I just said I don't think it's. So 60. it's it's got to be right around fifty-seven then fifty-eight. 57. Hold on, where the point, fuck is my calculator? Point five seven nine. Yeah, so five seven, so fifty-seven percent. So you're talking about <laughs> seven seven percent. Less chance of winning without Ja. That's that's not small. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but and again, unfortunately, it's not like we have a small sample size where we're talking about two games. We're talking about nineteen games. But again, I digress. Let's keep going. All right, moving on to the third team. You have Steph, Donovan Mitchell, Jimmy Butler, Larry Mark, and Bam. What? What do you What do you have to say? Not. I mean, I just no. Hold on, hold on. Let my dad speak. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Everybody else talk. I gotta pull this up. Pull what up? Go ahead. Let the man was back. Go ahead, Preston. Why? Why is Jimmy? Why is Jimmy Butler above uh, LeBron to y'all? I I he's not above LeBron to me. I had LeBron on the third team, so I, I didn't have I, I, I didn't I didn't have Jimmy Butler on my list. I I don't think I had Jimmy. But Butler. there was enough Jimmy Butlers to overtake what I thought. So I put Jimmy Butler in the second team. Sorry, I'm still looking up. What are you looking okay. up? I, that was the only. I didn't even that was, even that was exactly what I'm looking at. What are you looking up? Steph's games played. He's at fifty. I put a. Uh, I put Paul George. That's who I put personally. I put Steph on the first team. I have Paul George that first team well, vote. I put Steph on the first. Good. I think I had Julius Randle on my third team. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Nobody had. We're gonna go to the next slide. Brown. We're gonna go to the next slide. Hold on. So, Are you, what the listen, fuck? Wait, just relax. We're going to talk about the all defensive team first. <laughs> so this one was pretty easy. Um Oh, oh y'all, I, I thought I was I thought I was going wild so with the Crusoe. I anybody, thought I was crazy with that one too. <laughs> does anybody on here um have all of my players are on this list? That's my exact one. I did not have Brooke list. Lopez. I had Bam, but I I could have went back and forth. My only thing with Brooke is, I think Bam has a little bit more defensive versatility. I could have went either way with that. Uh, I, I think hear. Bam is just a little bit more athletic. I think Brooke is a little bit more uh, anchored to the paint. But Brooke is having a heck of a defensive year. I'm not mad at it. I literally went back and forth with with Brooke and and Bam, but I had Bam as my starting center. All right, so I'm gonna go. Who to press the hand? That's what I, I want. just okay. I'll I'll read you Preston's right now. <laughs> Defensive? I just went by a defensive rating. I didn't really care about the eye test or anything. Okay, so Preston's was Donovan I went Mitchell because of eye test. Preston's was Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Giannis, and wait, Jared wait, 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 Donovan Mitchell as what? As his third team? No, as all defense. I, I, <laughs> fuck up. I know. Hold on. I was thinking, I was like, why don't I have him on third team? I thought I put him on third team. You had Donovan Mitchell. On your all defensive team, <laughs> I don't. Know I don't why. think Donovan Mitchell with defense has ever been said in the same sentence. <laughs> right. where you're not no, talking about Donovan why. Mitchell on offense. <laughs> no, I, I I agree with you. I could have sworn I put him in third team, but hey, that's what I got. 
he was okay. you he went to go look at NBA stats defensive ratings because the Cavs have a good defense, so he chose him. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, now Donovan Mitchell gets team. a lot of help because you have two great post defenders. But Donovan well, Mitchell is I not have a great Jared defender. Allen. I have Jared Allen as my center. Um, like I said, I didn't. I didn't really have any preference with defensive. You can't hate on Jared Allen. Jared Allen. All right, Jared Allen. Right, 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 right. I put Emo on mine. All right, we're gonna move on to the the next slide. It has all of our our entire list. Okay, so we'll just break down. You. Had, oh my goodness. So so I'm gonna break down my list, and then y'all can break down all y'all lists. So. I had Dame, Luka, Tatum, Giannis, Jokic. So my list was completely identical to the actual first team, but Jokic and Embiid were swapped. So my first and second team are completely identical. Shit, bro, me and you got the first, the, the yeah. same on the first team, so, bro. So my first and second team um, is our, our average, but Jokic and Embiid were swapped. So mm -hmm. I had the most accurate. I feel like I'm about to do the. Let me take a screenshot of this motherfucker picture. We can we can literally do the math right now. And then so my third team, my my third team, math ain't math. My third team was the the one that was the most um out of whack. So I had Jalen Brown, um, who I don't think. How is Jalen Brown not on people's lists? So I had Jalen Brown, and then I had Donovan. Jalen Brown is not better than the six guards I named. And then I had LeBron, Laurie Markkinen, and AD. Six, eight guards. Excuse me. No, you name. How did you get eight? We're talking. There's three teams. Oh, three teams. Well, defensive team too. Six. He not Jaylen. better than six guards. I pick. Very well. That's that's. Jalen Brown know. better than Steph Curry. Yes. This year, yes. Be quiet. Uh, Be quiet. Well, that's no. yeah. That's the Video thing. Video over. Videos over. Tap. Yes. That's where. That's the thing. Like, we're you're wrong. We're I'm wrong. Talk about we're this year, but you talking about John Moran this. better than De'Aaron Fox. I'm done, bro. Is John Murray is better than the fact that you think this that year. You, Fox said is better this than year. you said this year. That's your criteria for Jalen Brown over Steph, Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry. He's just a Steph hater. He's a Steph yeah, hater. No, Jalen Brown is better than Steph Curry this year. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't, you can't in one. So, so the same thing you're trying to play on me, you can't, you, you have to do it to yourself. You just told me that you had De'Aaron Fox over Ja because De'Aaron Fox play more games. He, he didn't say that. Brown, no, he didn't say that. He didn't say that at all. He didn't say that. I said impact on the team. Yeah, he said the impact if you take players off. That's what he said. Warriors suck without Steph. Yeah. He, Warriors he got, suck with Steph. He averaged in 30. I don't think their record with Steph is great. They're they're in the playoffs and they just won a championship. What are you talking about? The defending they, champion. They, they won a championship Not this year? Or no, we're last year? They're but they're in the playoffs right now. They're in the play in. Oh, half these players that we named are in the play-in. And, and we're talking about a guy a guy who, again, we're comparing him to Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown's not Shea. in the play-in. Shea's in the play-in. You have him on the first team. What does Shea's that mean? Shea is hooping. That team is literally in the play-in because of Shea. The Thunder better than the Warriors? Do they yes. have a better – I don't know who has a better record, so I'm not – I don't care about the record. Are the, are the Thunder better than the Warriors? <laughs> What do you mean you don't care about the record? The record is they don't have a better. Is. They don't have the better record than the Warriors, though. But okay, so then the Warriors are not better. better at all. So thank. They, so the Warriors are better. Purpose. Okay, thank you. Jalen Brown's but, not better. But than is Shay having a better, is Shea having a better season than, than Steph? Jalen Brown over Steph Curry is absurd. Absurd. You think this year Steph? Now, if you had, if you said, "Hey, where do you have them on your all time list?" Yeah, Steph is Steph is absolutely higher than Jalen Brown. But if you're telling me Jalen Steph Jaylen may, right now doesn't even I don't even think he he, he, a forward. he can be yes. uh he one of the top top what one of the right now he can't he can't he can't win a scoring championship right now right he, because he hasn't played enough games right how many games he has to play he's at fifty games right now yes so if I look at stat NBA stats the league leaders Steph is not on that list right now. And I'm literally looking right now, and Steph is not on the list. As Golden State is getting blown out by New Orleans, with Steph playing, still better than Jalen. So the guy doesn't even qualify to be a league leader in points, but you're telling me he had a according to your criteria. This isn't my criteria. This is the NBA's. This is not mine. Steph does not need to be 
the scoring listen, leader, listen, scoring listen, champion. No, 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 no. Value you said it was team, according that's to my not what criteria. I said. This I don't have criteria of game this is, play. This Steven is, can tell you. you. This is ESPN. Steven, my original one, this, this I had ESPN. to change because Steven told me about games played. I, I don't care about games played. It's the value of the player to the team. So, that's what I care so about. if we were just saying who are the best players – then cool, we can we can make the first team, second team, third team at the beginning of the season. No, but even even the stats. So we so have to I'm, care yes, about yes, how yes, they yes, perform this season. He has better stats than Jalen Brown. Everything. In less stats. games. So games don't matter. You the just said John said at the end of last said the same thing for John. No, 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 no. Make Listen, it make sense. What I said was over 60 games is where I, where I drew the line. John and I said if you play over 60, literally that is what I said. Ja hasn't played 60 games. He will play over 60 by the end and of the season. Seth will be at 58. That, no, he'll be at 57 at the most. So he and he beats Jalen Brown in every statistical category, like you said earlier. Who? Steph. Steph and Curry. Yeah, but Jalen Brown plays better defense. Come and on, he's, bro. And, and Jalen Brown is B. Stop, Steph is the alpha, stop, like you said. Man. No, I'll give you that. You I'll, give you credit, I'll give you credit time. there. It I'll give you credit there. But you it's can't tell me, sense. Steph, a guy who – Literally, and we're talking about he's going to play 57 games, but... You put Jalen Brown... Is Jalen Brown considered a forward or a shooting guard? He plays shooting guard. Uh, where, where did I put him? You put... Also, oh, so, so who would you remove? Dane? Where? I don't even... Hold on. Where's you have him... You have Second him team, out. third you name. Have him at, yeah, yeah. I, yeah at, uh, at he's a shooting guard because Tatum... So, if forward. I moved him down... Yeah, I'd remove Dame because Dame was the Dame was that there. is crazy. So Jalen Brown is better than Damian Lillard. This season, I think he no. had a better season. No, you're crazy. You are crazy. You think he didn't have a better season? No. Than a guy who played 58 games? No, I don't. Okay, well that's your list. That is crazy. You're talking about a guy who dropped 71 this year. That is one game. So we're not. This is a but season, he, not a still, game. He, but even if you he, look at he, the tear he, he that he's been games. on, so, so missing 24 games is is okay. like that's normal. I no, it's not normal. Almost one third it's of the normal. season. I mean, that's not normal nowadays. That's it's not. not that's not like that has to matter. If if they were still in playoff contention, he'd be playing. He's not out because but, he's but hurt. they're not. Because he but didn't, he, because he missed twenty four games, he's, they probably would be in playoff contention if he didn't miss twenty four games. He's missing twenty four for the entire season. He's not yeah. you're, so count the next eight. If you want to miss sixteen, that okay, makes more sense. If you miss sixteen, they probably and, be in playoff contention, if, and it would be fifteen. But that's fine. So regardless, well, however many, whatever so regardless, the number is, regardless, it's going hey, to be you know, twenty four. Hey, he could have missed sixty games, and he still would have had a better season than Jalen Brown. Okay, that's that's the dumbest comment. Literally, you've no, all this no, look, he could have missed sixty. Stat. He could have not look played and he would have had a better season than Jalen Brown, who, Jaylen who Brown is literally is leading a team. Stephen Curry and Damian Lillard. Wait, wait, wait! Jalen Brown's leading a team in what? What is he leading? Dad, what did you just minute, say? You said minutes played. Most of the eighteen. Leading a team, what? Is leading a team uh-huh. to a what one two seed? He's not leading anything. He is he's not, not leading, leading anything. The team. Uh, uh, like, like, is the guy okay. Above. Hey, hey. So Kevin Herter's leading the Kings to a three seed right now. Okay, like that's again a dumb comment. Is are Jason you Tatum are you playing? Are you putting Kevin Herter's contributions to the Kings on the same level as Jalen Brown's on the Celtics? This is mm-hmm. why I'm saying that's a dumb mm-hmm. comment. And, and you know what else is dumb? Saying that Jalen Brown's contribution to the Celtics is the same as Damian Lillard's contribution to the Blazers. I know. It's I know. That's not what I said. I said he's having a better season. He's if not. If you so. ask me who means more to their team, how, so, I will tell you Dame Lillard. So how is he having, Jalen Brown's how, having a better well, season? Wait, so how is he playing? How, how is he having a better season? season? No, no, no. Time I, time how, yeah, how is he having a better season? I don't want to hear games play. Tell I don't me. care what you – so the fortunate thing is I don't give a fuck what you want to hear. So, like, so you know your game's playing? Your, your, okay, your, game's playing. Okay, <laughs> like, so that's cute. You know your play. game's played, but so, I'm still going to say it. So what? So game played is the reason why Jalen Brown has more. Yes. So just for so is that your way of of, of contradicting ju- or comparing just those two players? It's just games played. And contribute. I mean, so if that's again, the case, if, 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 if five got right. more games played, John Moran. How about that one? Who? I, I didn't hear what you said. Aaron Fox got more games played than John Moran. I don't want to hear games that's, played. Don't say games is, played. That's what you Please, said. No, stop saying games that's played. That's what you said. That's what you said, though. <laughs> no, don't ever say games played. Wait, so, but that's that's his point. Double you're, standard. You're, you're, it's you're, not you're, a double standard. Con- I literally said no from sense. the beginning, what did I say? My number was 60. 
I said that. I've said that now five times, that my number was 60. Okay. Is Steph going to reach 60? No. But Steph's not on so, your list. So, so, why don't so we talk I've about given that? a very flat criteria. I said the criteria. But then, my okay, number wait, was 60. Wait, wait, is Dame going to is Dame gonna reach 60? So wait, wait. My uh, question. Uh, pause, pause. No, Dame, he's not going to reach 60. So you're 60. asking me my criteria, and you're yes. saying, why are these people falling below these people, right? Yes. Is Dame going to reach 60? No. no. Is Steph going to reach 60? No. no. Steph, so I've Steph given is not on your list. list. So you're, why? why so, so, so there is there has been no difference in from where my line is Strictly to who's over. Game play who's is what you're saying. That's it. There's no yeah, other factor. There, so wait, wait, wait. So tap, tap. Hold on, tap. Hold on. Because you're saying games played above sixty, but you have Embiid above Jokic, and Jokic has played more games than Embiid. That's why I'm confused. Is That's Embiid what I'm going to be? Oh, I said over sixty. I did not look at the games played. Over sixty. Okay, Anybody so okay, now I now now I understand what you're saying. Now now I understand 60, what you're saying. I did not look at games played. So as long as they played sixty, that doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying. Then then I then I'm looking at stats. Anything below sixty, then I have to look at other things. I am already almost docking you if you're under sixty games. Okay, because so, we are now talking about at least missing twenty two games in a season. I've said that. I think seven times now. Sixty okay. was my line. So okay. if you're asking me who has a be- who's had more contribution, I, uh, this is no knock to Steph. Steph is an all-time player, but he's going to miss twenty plus games this season. Jalen Brown is not. Okay, so that's my that's my point though. Do so. I believe that? I believe if if Steph Curry had played seventy five games, and let me see, let me see what Jalen Brown is going to play this year. Do I believe Golden State is in a better position? Yes. Did the fact that Steph missed 20 plus games hurt Golden State? Yes, absolutely. That is a I think that's I think that is fact that Steph missing 20 plus games is it has Golden State, the team that we just talked about, won a championship last year, had very little roster turnover from a championship team to this team outside of we know Wiggins or whatever else, right? The injuries had to have played a part. Right, had to. So I'm talking about I'm talking about Jalen Brown, who's playing, who's going to play. What? And again, depending on how the rest of this week goes, we're looking at 70 games versus a guy who's going to play. Again, depending on where we let's just if say Jalen Brown somewhere in the play less than 60 50s. games. I'm sending you a text. What? If they don't play Jalen Brown for these last what seven games? <laughs> <laughs> and he don't reach 60, I'm shooting you a text. Okay, shoot me a text. Well, he's over 60, so. Oh, he's over 60? I he's thought he said he was gonna, he's going to be at 60. I no, said, that was, no, that no, was no. Job. I said that if he played seven oh, games, job. it would be 70. Okay. That was just So that would be 70. If Jalen Brown plays the last seven games, and I don't even know how many games Boston has left, but if he plays the last seven, if we assume most teams have seven, that will put him at 70 games played this season. He's already over 60. For the number one team in his division, the number two team in the East. So if you ask me, did he have a better season? Was he more impactful to his seat to, to his team success? Just like I would say, Steph Curry was more impactful to the demise of Golden State this year by missing 20-something games. A great team that we we all know this. Wait, wait, right? wait, but wait, what wait, was, wait, wait. What was, why is this great Golden State team fighting for a playoff spot? Okay, wait, wait. This is why. Yeah, there's this a. Is why, that's a. Hold on, hold on. That's a terrible. That's a terrible way of looking what, at it. How's that a terrible? T- do you Be- do you believe? This, wait, that wait. Let me let me explain. Let me. You can't. Don't ask games. me a question. You can't ask me a question. You said how is it a terrible way to think, and I'm gonna explain okay, it to okay. you. The right. reason why it's terrible is because Steph missed 20 games, and they're still in playoff contention. Correct. Okay. You have on your list. You have Shea, and you have Luca at the top on first team. And mm-hmm. both of those players didn't miss 20 games, and those teams are out of playoff contention. That's my point. So it's a okay, terrible but, way to say but, they missed but, 20 but, games and they're, they're not. So, and they're, so let me return volley, right? So okay. what I am saying is the fact that Steph missed 20 games impacted Golden State. This is why they are fighting for playoff contention. Now, the opposite, I think, is true for Luka and, and, and whatever they do. I'm, for SGA, right? I think – if they had missed 20 games, we're, those teams are 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 15 seeds, 
Right. The uh, fact that they are even fighting for playoff contention is because they played so many games. That roster is not – the rest of that roster is not as good as the rest of Golden State's roster. That I mean, that, I think we can all agree to that, right? So him missing 20, 20-something games would have impacted – the fact that they are in contention is because he played so much. The fact that Golden State is not in contention is because of the game Steph missed. Ste- they are in con- – what do you mean they're not in contention? Uh, well, they're, they're, they're not where we all suspected they would be at the beginning of the season, right? I don't think anybody had Golden State – coming off a championship, fighting in the play-in. I don't think any of us had that. Right? I mean, <clears throat> I, yeah, bro, he, I'm, not- I'm looking – hang on. I'm looking at the record, bro, with Steph. They're 25 and 25. And without Steph, they're 14 and 12. So – That's not great. In, in the 50 games that Steph has played, they're breaking even, literally. Right now, they're down to the Pelicans, and Kelvin said that he's – playing right now so that I don't would know put if he's him playing. at let me see yeah he's if playing. he is that puts him at 25 and 26 so even with Steph yeah this is I, they, well, the well you maybe just, heard my argument that doesn't hurt his cause that doesn't help his cause I know but like if we're like if you guys are talking about impact his impact is breaking even right now it's 25 and 25 so he's they're literally a 500 team with him yeah, so I didn't know the numbers of with like I said, this is how I took this. I believe, and I don't know, maybe you know, there, there are other factors obviously at play with Golden State this year. But Where's I believe that? Steph, if Steph is play, plays 70 games this year, that we are not talking about Golden State fighting in the play. I think we're talking about Golden State in it, it, a little bit better in continue. Now again, I, that's me guesstimating. I don't it's- know. It's debatable. They also, I know, like I said, I third, don't know. They're the third worst road team as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. And maybe that's a horrible assumption. But I'm making an assumption saying that the fact that Steph Curry missed so many games hurt Golden State. Maybe it didn't. Maybe they would have been the same no matter what. And Golden State's just off this year. Uh, right? But again, I believe that team where you have a Clay who's played most of the season. You've had Draymond who's played most of the season, right? We've seen those three players. Again, yep, they're a little bit older, Clay coming back. But we've seen those three players as a core of a team win 73 games, right? I, I think those three. Okay, bro. Relax. I think they have relax, more. Relax, relax, relax. Relax. Because, I'm yeah, saying, that, was, that was seven years ago. Okay, yeah. I, I am saying I think that team is better than they would have been than, than this record if Steph plays tw- Steph miss is going to miss 20 something games 20 I understand. Like 24 I don't, games I don't think I don't know how much of an impact him playing more would have had I think obviously they would have won yeah that's an assumption games, but I still don't think I don't think they would be like a one or two seed simply because like their other pieces that were supposed to get better or just be there in general aren't as well you got Andrew Wiggins out. Uh, well, Wiggins has been out about a month. Yeah, Wiggins has um, been out. Jordan Poole. Everyone wanted him to be a consistent, like basically a star. I mean, Jordan Poole's been. I think he's played most of. The, now I don't remember any major periods where Jordan Poole was out. Right, but I'm saying like they people were expecting him to be a star. They thought he was the next Steph, and that's not it. I mean, guys, he's giving you twenty. Huh? But again, I mean, again, I'm making an assumption. So my assumption is based off simply that, that the fact that it, that that Luca, again, with most of the season without Kyrie, without a true number two, the fact that they even are scraping at the playoffs is because Luca's on that team. Because OKC, which I think a lot of people had finishing last in that in that conference, the fact that they're even scraping or you know neck and neck with the Rockets, uh, the fact that they're even scraping at a playoff spot is because of SGA. So, and I think it's the opposite with, with Steph. The fact that Steph missed so many games, to me, is part of the, and I don't want to say demise, but again, I don't think any of us had Golden State. And I think if we would have t- had our, our, our seeding prediction at the beginning of the year, none of us would have had Golden State at whatever seed they are right now. Right. Um, right. So, so, so if I'm looking for reasons 
part of the reason, yep, there's a magnitude of reasons. But one of the reasons I think we all would say is, man, Steph missed a lot of games. So that has to be a factor. Um, Tap, break down how you made your list, bro. So mine was strictly just impact of the player and the team as a whole. Um, I just think all the ones I picked are pretty self-explanatory. Steph, I, I gave you my argument on Steph. Reason the Warriors aren't winning is because they don't have Wiggins. That's, it is what it is. Steph, not having Steph and not having Wiggins. Wiggins is a, a factor that won him a championship, so I don't know why you're making that face. I'm listening. Go ahead. Say, okay, say, no problem. Give, me, give yourself also, a we listening. Preston's point with Jordan Poole, making him a starter compared to having six-man Poole off the bench, big difference in his play style and the way that they move the offense. He's a, he's a ball hungry. He likes iso ball. Not the warrior style. Luca, self-explanatory. Do I need to explain Luca? I think everybody at Luca except for uh, Preston and Amon. Booker. That's that's an interesting one. I'm not hating on it. But it's interesting. <laughs> well, Booker's, Tatum, missed, Booker's missed. And he, Booker is somebody I looked at, but he's missed a bunch of games too. So Tatum, the number one player on the Celtics, the only reason the Celtics are even a contender in the Eastern Conference is because of Jason Tatum. Um, then you have Giannis, who's Giannis, mm -hmm. defensive player of the year, leading the Bucks. They are the best defensive team by far. Giannis definitely needs to be up here. I'm an Embiid guy. Embiid plays defense, more defense than Jokic. I can't say Jokic doesn't play defense. But to me, Embiid is just a better overall player. His game to me is better. I understand Jokic has that facilitating part of him that makes him a very unique big, but – if I really wanted someone to get me a bucket, I'm going to Embiid. So, so I have a question. What's right? up? Booker, who's very close, two games behind Steph, right? Two games played behind Steph and playing the rest, and he's healthy, so he's playing. Averaging, having, having a heck of a season if I just look at averages. I, I My question really to everybody is, why then was Booker not given, again, two games behind, so I'm looking at, um, well, to anybody who had Steph on their list, and I'm however, many, why, why then was Booker, who again, two less games than Steph, why was he not on or looked Given at or on anybody's list? To me, I don't think Booker, compared to the other seasons of what he's capable of, and considering the KD trade, I don't think Booker is at his best. This is not the best Booker we've seen. Yeah, he's being consistent with his 25 a game. That's that's him. 28. 28, I'm sorry. This is Booker's top scoring average season in his career. Yeah, but when you but, think about the yeah, Suns. Look at the winning, games played, though. You got to look at the games played, though. Oh. I'm not looking at games played. I'm just thinking I'm about, about for the average. The, I'm talking about, I'm talking about for the average. I'm talking about for the average. Okay, well, I'm talking about his impact for the Suns. The Suns what? are known to be a winning team, and they have not shown that this year. They're looking to change things around with KD. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have Steph on your list, and you just told me that Devin Booker is playing on the Suns, and they're known for being a winning team, and they're not winning. So you docked Devin Booker, but you kept Steph on your first team. This is the same person that said I am making contradictions. That point Makes absolutely no sense. How does that point not make any sense? So, so he's you're not telling playing me, his best game. Steph, you're, no, no, no. Your Steph team is out. Was, Steph is playing. The Suns are known for game. being a winning team. Golden State, a team that's won four championships in the last what six years. What seed was Golden State last last year? I, off the top of my head, I don't know. Are they honest. even a top three team in the West? I, mm -hmm. I believe they were. I don't know off the top of my head. I, I'm not gonna lie. They to were you. like on, they, on they the won top the championship head, though. They won the championship, right? They've won four championships in the last, what, six years, seven years? So Steph Curry being injured and missing those games, he still came back in Steph Curry shape, dropping 30 points a game. So right or wrong? Devin Booker. Devin, yeah, let, but – I don't know if you – let me – hold on, hold on. Let me move closer to the mic. Devin Booker is averaging the most points he's averaged in his career. I'm still taking Steph over Devin Booker. 
I don't so think I'm he... asking you to justify that, please, because Devin Booker is also on a team that is doing better than the Golden State Warriors. But then you have Shea. So explain Shea. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, Shea we're has, talking about your list. Games played. We're, we're talking about right? okay. So the Shea, two games the was the difference. That's Seth you... is a better player than Devin Booker. I, I'm not asking you why Devin Booker Seth is in, more impactful. I'm asking why Devin Booker isn't Devin on Booker. any of your list anywhere. Are you telling me that all the players on your list had yes. a better? Okay. They're better than Devin Booker right now. And logically, that makes sense. Where's you. Devin Booker on your list? Nowhere I, either. I don't. So you Steph's not on my list either. So what does so, that mean? Uh, again, you? we are. That's why I'm close to the mic. We are asking Steph versus Devin Booker. And I you gave said you... Steph's 50 games. He was so impactful. <laughs> and Devin Booker's 48 <laughs> games. He was. I'm close to the mic. Can you hear me? He was not impactful. And he's averaging 28 points a game. And the Phoenix Suns are and have a better record than the Warriors. I'm asking why Devin Book. See, neither one of them were on my list because they did not reach the threshold. <laughs> why like did he not make your makes, list? Are you? <laughs> huh? I said, I like how my list is making y'all argue. <laughs> is, is, that what, is that what it's There's just, no yeah. reason that we should be talking about Steph versus Devin Booker right now. Devin Booker is averaging 28.1 points. How many points is Steph averaging? 30. He's doing very well. It's 30 In more than 28. Games. It's 30 so more than I'm 28. I'm asking you it's why 30 28 more, points per game. It's did, 30 did more than Devin 28. Devin Booker not it's make 30, any of your lists. Is 30 more than 28. Do you want me to list all the people on your list that Devin Booker is averaging more p- points per game then? Points per game is just one of the uh, criteria of the total impact. Tell me your Stephen other Curry criteria to the and Warriors I will name versus the, Devin Booker to Devin the Booker Suns. Devin Booker is doing the better Suns than The Suns don't too. have Kevin Durant. The Suns have been missing DeAndre Ayton. Steph is more impactful to the Warriors then Devin Booker has been to the Suns. This How many season. games has KD played with the Suns? Three and a half. <laughs> three, three, so I don't really count KD. Devin Booker is averaging 28.1 points per game, and the Suns are in fourth seed in the West, which is better than the Warriors, and he's missed two less games. That's that's where we should stay there. Still does not even come to fathom why you're telling me that Devin Booker is better than Stephen Curry. Uh, you're you're, you're, you're not listening. This is, why, this is why I get close sense. to the mic. This is why I'm getting closer. I'm not saying Devin Booker is better than Steph Curry. I'm saying you have Steph in your first team and you do not have Devin Booker on your list at all, <laughs> even though Devin Booker's only missed two more games than Steph. Because the Steph Phoenix is a better Suns player. A better than record, Devin, Steph is better than Devin Booker. Are, well, not I have docking Steph, the Devin better Booker for games played on my team. because he's only played two less. You're, see, that's why you're not hearing me because you're talking. Um, they only played <laughs> he only played two less games than Steph Curry. So let yeah, let's go from there. Twenty eight point one points per game for a better team this year, and he did not make any of your lists. And I can name plenty of people on your list that he has better stats than. You're telling me based off of your criteria that you are not docking him for games played, right? Because we're only talking about a two game difference between a guy on your first team and a guy who did not make your list. Okay. Wait, 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 let me play. Let me, let me, let me see. So Devin Booker doesn't have better stats than Steph or Luca. And I, I, one I didn't say you did. No, 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 but I'm just, I'm we're just not saying. Listening. We're, we're not no. listening. I didn't say, so I didn't say he doesn't have better stats than Shea. No, but you said he has better stats than plenty of people on his list. That's what I'm trying to see who okay. you're talking about. Because there's only six guards, and okay. at least four of them keep, I know keep, he doesn't. So maybe De'Aaron Fox or Mitchell. Three. Keep going. Keep going. Shea, he doesn't have more stats than Shea. Yeah. De'Aaron Fox? There, yes, he has better stats than De'Aaron Fox. Does he? And again, I as... guess it depends on how you look at stats, but. Right. I don't know off the top of my head. I'm asking. I'm I'm actually, I'm being for real. I'm not trying to get But Devin, Devin Booker does. is averaging 28.1 points per game. He is. Averaging about five rebounds, about five assists, and shooting fifty percent from the floor. I'm gonna. What's his two-point percentage? De'Aaron is averaging twenty-five, four, and six. 
which you can look so, up that. So, I, say it again. Say it again. 28, 5, and 5. Yeah, I would say Devin Booker has better shots than him. Oh, thank does. you. Thank you for that. He does. But is Devin Booker impact on the Suns the equivalent to De'Aaron Fox's impact on the Kings? Right now, today. for my Darren Booker NBA is team. averaging 28.1 points per game and five rebounds and five assists. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> okay, so you don't have a reason that that – that see, because I have a reason that Devin Booker didn't make my list. Because I have, I have a criteria. Devin Booker, because everyone on my and list you is more impactful than Devin Booker. you seem to have this flow like water criteria when it fits your agenda. But mine was strict, right? At 60 ga- – Okay, Jalen every, Brown. Everybody – 60 games. Wait, what's wrong with Jalen Brown? I had him on my 13th. J- Jalen Brown – not better than Steph Curry. Sir – Listen, you're not you're not listening. The criteria was 60 games. That was Jaylen your criteria. criteria. My criteria the, was overlapping you, with many stats, many different things. Your criteria of was the player on 50 the team. Games. I do not think right that now. Devin Booker is more impactful than any of the guards I have on my list. That's that's what I said. I don't think Steph Curry is more impactful than any of the guards. And that is why you on your Devin list. Booker is not on my list, and he's not on yours. And Steph yeah. isn't on yours, so because because of my criteria. Fantastic. <clears throat> Evan Booker didn't meet my criteria to be on my list. <laughs> Your criteria was fifty games. Yes, fifty. Oh, okay, fifty. Fifty exactly. Like he had to be a fifty. Okay. No, see, now that makes sense. If you said, "Oh, then Devin Booker fell too short of your criteria." When you made your list, he had to have already played fifty. Now I get it. See, now it makes sense. Now we can keep going. Edgar, how did you break your list down, bro? <laughs> Edgar, did you also use fifty games that they must have um, played today? So I, I originally had it at fifty-five. Um, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I snub uh, Jalen Brown. I on and that was like on accident. I, he didn't even come to my mind. Who would you have um, removed? Steph, easily, easily. I to, I told you, bro. My minimum was fifty-five. But then when you said 50, I think that's what made me put him on there. No disrespect to him, um, but I want to say that's who I snubbed when I looked at my list. And when I – literally, when you guys mentioned Jalen Brown, I was all like, there's who I Pound forgot. It. Pound that rock. Pound that rock. What about Devin Booker? Damn. So, obviously, you know I'm a big Devin Booker fan. But he he missed a lot of games, bro. He missed a lot of games. Um, I think when I looked, he was at – So did Steph Curry. He was at 47, so – yeah, he's at that 40. was, or well, when I looked yesterday, I think he was at forty-seven. So, mm-hmm. um, I was just like, okay, you're you're almost ten games under my personal criteria of fifty-five. Um, so that's what obviously that's how I looked at it. So you um, saying you should add Jalen Brown and remove Steph Curry? Mm-hmm. I like that. Smart man, um, there. you must know basketball. <laughs> that that was that's probably my only. One, because I didn't um, really, like, look at impact too much. Um, I think for me, I looked at um, moments, matchups, um, and just how just how they've been hooping this year. Because, um, like I said, this was – it It did make it harder not having, you know, LeBron play um, my minimum or Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, you know, guys that should be on here. Um, but obviously when you set – a minimum you don't want, you don't want to make an exception for someone if your minimum was 55 you don't want to put someone i personally didn't want to put someone under but i'll admit i i snubbed jalen and i i messed up on that one. Oh yeah that, that's that's a smart man to to admit your wrongs i like that <laughs> i respect that all right i want to know why you have siakam who who has siakam Oh, your dad? You have Siakam. What do you mean? Who has oh, Siakam? Man. Where? The only one who has him in the third team. No, I think Siakam is a hooper. You don't, y'all don't like Siakam? Bro, I, Steven, I literally texted you if you had – because I debated having him on mine, bro. I didn't yeah, put him I on mean, there, but – And again, I mean, I'm – so I don't think that was something that was like I, – I didn't think it super controversial. Um, mm-hmm. That wasn't something that I'm, I'm tied to. Obviously, this is a guy in my third team. Um yeah, but I, I think I think Siakam is right now Toronto basketball. I like Van Vliet. Best player, um, I would say. But, but I mean, 
Siakam gives it to you on both ends, and I know that was something Preston talked about uh, being big to him. I think, yeah, I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't. Is this super controversial? Again, this is my third team. No, I'm but, just asking because you're the one who had him. Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't even. Yeah, that wasn't something I, I scoured over, but I, 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 and I'll tell you, I didn't look up. I looked up his stats. I didn't look up gameplay. So maybe he doesn't meet my 60. Let me look. No, me he look. definitely hasn't missed any games. I'm, I'm almost positive. He never misses games. No, I knew that. I knew that. I was just messing oh. with Ted because maybe he only played <laughs> 50 games or 48 like Devin Booker. Mm, that's crazy. Preston, how did you make your list, Rick? You probably got the wackest oh. list on here. Yeah. Well, mine is definitely a casual perspective, I would say. I'm not even going to oh. try to defend mine to the death. Um, my, how, did you, well, how did you get Braun on the first team? Uh, by because it's Braun. Jalen Brown. Um, just an oversight, really. I think he should be on there. I don't know why you guys don't have him on there. Well, I mean, I guess it's just the missed games and um, things of that nature, but I mean, his numbers are great. So. You're not allowed to say, Tap doesn't like it when you say missed games. I'll uh, Call it uh, lost <laughs> opportunities. Please call it for Tap. Lost opportunities to play 50 games. Uh, and then for, you guys already saw why, or I already mentioned why I don't have Luca first team. Um, but in all actuality, he but is, Luca doesn't have many lost opportunities. <laughs> How many games has he played? Uh, what is Luca? 60, 61. I feel like he's missing yeah. more because of the ankle. Oh, LeBron That's what I thought. has played 48 games as well. The same amount as Devin Booker, two less than Steph Curry. Um, never mind. You know, I don't do sh- never mind. You n- y- y'all know what I'm gonna say. We'll just f- 48, two less than Steph. I'm looking tap, looking forwards, Tatum, Giannis, Butler, Marketing, Randall. So- never mind. Never mind. You uh, never, mind. never mind. What is wrong with Because those people bro. are better than LeBron. <laughs> If we don't include, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, I mean, other than that, I don't think there's any any egregious picks. I mean, what LeBron? If you oh, think let me, price, feel free to mention LeBron. It, let me get close to the mic. LeBron is averaging twenty nine point three points, seven assists, and eight point four <laughs> rebounds, and he has played forty eight games, which is two less than Steph Curry who's on the first team, are you telling me that Steph Curry has had – never mind, never mind. Lost <laughs> opportunities. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead with your list, Preston. My bad. I'm sorry. Well, I was going to say, I don't really – I like. I'm not married to it at all. Like, if there's anything egregious you think there is, like, feel free to say. No, Preston, the more I look at you, I respect your list. I mean, you had you Harden obviously... on there. Um, I don't – Yeah, well, let me I, also – I'm not that. hating I, – I think Harden's had, like, a sleeper season. I just mm-hmm. – I yeah, looked at his I, stats, and I was all like, it wouldn't be outrageous to have him on there. So, so the hard thing with Harden, and I think – what a lot of us do is we compare Harden to Harden. And I mean the Houston mm-hmm. Harden that was giving us 30, right? This is a different Harden. He's leading the league in assists. Um, he's obviously a big part of Philly. And I think we compare Harden simply to Harden. I think if this was Joe Williams from off the street who was giving you the same numbers that Harden is giving you, we'd probably all – and again, I don't have him on my list either. We'd probably all have him somewhere on our list. But I, I think we think hold so. him to that Harden standard. And he's not giving us, at least in terms of point score, what we're used to getting from Hart. He's averaging twenty-one and ten. I feel like that's not even like. Yeah, and, I, and I'm not knocking twenty-one. I'm not, and that's yes, what I said. That in 10, most that 10 most people, big. most people, twenty-one. We would say, like I said, if this was Joe Williams, we'd probably be like, "Oh, Joe Williams is giving you twenty-one and 10. But for that's Harden, not all NBA though. Low. That's what I'm saying. That's not all NBA. 
21 10. 21 10. I mean, let's, let's, I mean, if we go back to lead point guards, right? Mm-hmm. And again, I'm not trying to, but Steve Nash was the first team all NBA and he didn't give you 21 and, and 10. Um, I mean, and we can kind of go, and again, I'm not, we're talking different eras, I know, and we're talking, but I think, like I said, I think Harden is really kind of being compared against himself more than anything else because he's the elite lead assist guy in the league and he made nobody's list as a point guard, which really, truly the job of a point guard is to get, is to get the offense going. I mean, I'll admit so, I thought about him. I also thought about, um, this, this might just be me, but I also thought about, uh, Tyrese. I was about to say that because nobody thought yeah, about he's him. Daniel, yeah. He's Daniel Thank averaging you. the same, the same numbers. Um, so I did think about Tyrese, but I think for him, he just didn't meet my qualifications. You know, you know what else? So we're saying twenty-one and ten. Trey Young is averaging twenty-six and ten, and nobody brought him up. Yeah. Oh. So I looked at Trey. The only problem to me, Trey is a volume shooter, Um, and I I don't think he always helps Atlanta. I think sometimes he hurts Atlanta. Sometimes. I mean, if you look at their team, Steph Curry when he misses twenty-two games. Hurts Golden State and LeBron play 48 games and is averaging 29.3 points, 8.4 rebounds, and 6.9 assists, but did not make somebody's. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Hey, Steven, I have a question, bro. Did you even think about BAM? Because I see you have AD. No. I'm just asking. No, I didn't. You don't didn't like cross, BAM? Didn't cross my mind. AD is better than him. Didn't cross my mind. I think AD is a better player, but again, this is where now does AD, I know your criteria is 50. Is AD on pace to meet 50? He's at 49. So if he plays at, today. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Say that again. He's at 49. He, <laughs> Anthony Davis is how, how many? It, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. 50. I know what I'm you saying. asked me. No, no, no. I, I, I'm literally looking. So 49. <laughs> Anthony Davis made your list. I got you. I understand. I respect it. I mean, yeah, because I mean, I looked at what he did. Because I mean, he, they were they what? Oh no, no, I see. Okay, they were out of the playoffs when when Braun was playing, and then Braun was out. Obviously, got hurt, and the AD came back balling. So that's so why I'm I I'm gonna it. I'm I'm messing with you a little bit, but now in being serious, so I see <laughs> you took the hard line of anybody you expect over fifty. Correct. You you basically gave a stats pass, right? Correct. I I my my criteria no. was if you hit fifty, then you're eligible for awards. That's why KD. So what? So why why did you not have Steph? Why did you not have Steph? The reason why I didn't have Steph. Yeah. I just feel like the other players on on my list have a better season than them so far. Okay. Okay, and that's that, I mean I'm not I know I was fucking with that before, but I, I was. I had, but I'm only saying that because he you have people on your list. That Steph has played more games then. And that's the reason. Like, yeah, why? My 50, 50 for me was the threshold. So if you hit 50, then that's when I started comparing stats. I didn't compare stats to someone who only, like, for example, Kevin Durant has better stats than some of the people on my list, but right. he physically cannot be on an all NBA team. So that I'm not going to waste my time even trying to put him on here. So you just went by the all NBA team standard. 50. If you're going to hit 50, you're in full consideration. Correct. If you play gotcha. 50 games or if you play 82, you. Gotcha. It's whatever. That's the way. I, that's, the, that's the way I saw it. Now and, it was. And if I if I did that, my list. I will be honest. My list would be different, and I would probably have LeBron. I would, honestly, I'd probably have Steph. I'd probably if I, especially if I. I don't want to say throw out records because I don't think you can. I, I don't think I'd still be able to throw out records. But yeah, a, a lot of those people would. If I just went by all NBA standard of if you're over fifty, you're in consideration. If you're under, then you're not. Yeah, my list probably would have looked different. And Steph Steph probably would have been on my list. Like I said, uh, LeBron probably would have been on my list. I think if I went only by that, AD would have replaced Bam. I um, battled back and forth between Jalen Brown and Steph, but I ultimately chose Jalen Brown. Um, just because, I don't know. I just Anyways, so I battled back and forth between the two, um, but I tried to go away from my bias just because I'm a Steph fan, I like Steph. Um, but I think so, – go ahead. So do you think you you docked Steph because you didn't want to show bias? No. I mean, I think – so, for example, if if Steph how, – how can I put it? 
not if he had a different name. That's a stupid way to say it. But like, I'm a Steph fan, so I'm automatically gonna think Steph is a first teamer, just basing looking at his numbers, the way his right. averages are, his percentages. I automatically think that coming off of a, a a championship. But I try to just do a clean slate of who I think is playing better right now, and that's why I chose him. Even but when, if, because again, if I look, if I and also off Steph, the eye test too. If I gave Steph the slate of anybody over fifty, I mean, because again. Steph's averages without looking at games played, because that's the only thing that hurt him for me. But his averages are are, are very good. I mean, mm-hmm. when Steph plays, he is hooping. But and but I also I also took into factor his team. Um the okay. team isn't the team isn't that good. If they if they ended the season right now, they would play against I want to say is it They'd Memphis? be in the play in, right? No, they're the sixth. The are they the sixth? Last when I made my list, they were the sixth spot. They're so not they in the six anymore, changed. bro. They're, okay, they're, okay, okay. So they're when I made so. my list, they were in the six spot. But regardless, so they would play um, in, in the play-in. But let's just say that they're seventh seed. They would play Memphis in the first round. So and they play OKC. Yeah, so um, I, I kind of – like I said, when I first made my list, it was based off everything. Stats, your team, uh, your impact. Um, I didn't know that they were 25 and 25 without him. I did not know that. Um, yeah, with, him, with him, with him, with I'm him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, with him. Yeah, but, deep, um, yeah. they're 14 but, and 12 without him. Yeah, so I didn't I didn't know that portion, mm-hmm. um, but that's the way I did it was I I took all of the guards and then I took I put all the guards in one column and then I separated them in order and then I did all the forwards and I separated them in order and I did my centers. The centers were obviously the easiest, but um, that's the way I did it, and then that's how I came up with my two 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 and then two two two. So since you did it that way, did you um, or any of you did you guys um, have considerations around Kyrie? I'm just that I just want to ask. No, I did because I, I, I just looked at his at numbers. He he's averaging 27, 5, and 5. Um, and he's played 56 games. So um I didn't look at him because I don't know. I think for me mentally, I feel like he's been hurt a lot more than the game show. I feel like he was maybe at around like 48, 49 games played. So um I didn't even look at him, but um, when we were talking, I'm all like, let me just see his stats. And then I'm all like, oh, okay, so 56. No, no. He's a, so yeah, Kyrie I just want to see stats. if anyone. The mm-hmm. hard part with Kyrie was, I believe, and again, for a period of time, he 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 had put Brooklyn on his back. Um, and I think he deserves some credit for that. But where I think he loses credit is I think Dallas has been a little discombobulated since he got there. Right? And that's – that. so – Taking numbers out, right? It's also, and again, this is credit to tap, right? I think I had to look at for him what he has meant to Dallas. I think we all expected him to get to Dallas and that thing to take off. Now they got a second scorer, um, and, and it hasn't worked. And I think Dallas was a better team before he got there. So I have to dock him. If you are a player and you go to a team and the team gets worse, I have to, I have to kind of, I have to kind of hold you accountable a little bit for that. And that's where he lost. So outside of stats, because stats, I think he was in my conversation, but that's Ooh. where I took him off my list. Kyrie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, point. I think they're like, what, three and eight with, with yes. him? Which, you know, yes. that's terrible when, I mean, you can consider- That's what I said. I, I, I mean, mm-hmm. just that I had to. I mean, okay. three and eight with, with it's, yeah, I have to knock you. Um. Dad, I have a question for you. Why don't you have Laurie Markinen on your list? Now that I'm thinking about it. So my my final spot was between Laurie and Siakam. Um, so really, what I think it came down to me one. Wait, wait, wait. So so quick, right? So if you move Brown, yes. Yeah, so down if I to move the Brown to a, are you putting to Laurie a, in? Because then you I have an move open, Brown to a guard. Yeah. I would move. I don't know. Brown would probably stay on my second team. Um, then yeah, probably I I yeah, probably it, that opens up a forward spot for you. Yeah, yeah. You said yeah, you would move probably, Dame earlier. Right. I'd move, yeah, because I'd move Brown down. That would move oh, but yeah, because I'm taking him from a forward to a guard, but now I have another forward. I take Dame mm-hmm. off my list, but now I have to replace him with a forward. So I well, probably sorry. move Sabonis to second team. And then I probably put marking in on my third team. Okay. Um, who else does no one have? We all have who is JJJ? Jaron Jackson, Jackson Jr. Jr. 
Oh, oh, dang, you really, you really value defense. That and I kind of, you can kind of tell from my list, but I kind of went for like players that are typically relevant in the playoffs, even though that's I not. I thought you were talking about the wrestler, Triple J. Who the hell is Triple J? <laughs> I thought it was Triple X. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just joking. It's Triple H. Oh, oh hell no. He said Triple X. He said hey, Triple X. X. Boy, it was hey, a joke. Mine hey, was a joke, and he went hey, triple hey, X. Hey, 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 for the kids, man. For the kids. Isn't there a wrestler that be going like this? Triple H is the wrestler that, that goes H. like that. So why does he do an X? <laughs> what is it? Because he's saying the X. It's DX, DX him and Shawn Michaels. I never watched wrestling. My bad. <laughs> triple X. <laughs> that was really good. All right, but you were saying, I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, yeah, I was just, I kind of was going off of like star power and playoff relevance for the most part. I mean, it's kind of iffy with some of them, but that's kind of I did lean a little more in that direction. Like I don't have anybody like Julius Randle, Lauria Markinen, I don't have him. Trey Young, I didn't really give him consideration. How was was who was the the third team center? Was it AD? Um, here let's go. Because looking at this, it should be AD. It was Bam. It was Bam. How it should be AD because he has AD on his second team. So AD's on three, Bam's on three, but. We have two third teams in the second team versus well, Preston probably ha- three. Preston teams. has him at forward, forward, though. That's the thing. Yeah. He has him at forward. Yeah. Oh, I was just looking at what team they were. Oh, yeah. okay. I didn't even. I didn't even see um AD there because I was looking. Like I said, I had Dinner. separated center centers. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. I didn't even. Yeah. Look so at I that. think I think if you give AD second team credit, but also AD, so AD is kind of weird because I don't. I, is he actually categorized as a center? He plays center. For um, him, I'm, so. I'm about to look right now. He's a power forward, but he plays center. Yeah, uh, has, but I he know has he's more games played as a center on the Lakers. So I know yeah, this he's year, tried to hold strong. This year they, they have him at center. Forward. They have him listed at center this season. Whatever, okay. whatever games you play the most as. So when Thomas Bryant was there, he was categorized as a power forward. So, Preston, if you had to move him to center, you would have moved Bam off your list. Yep. And then that would have put AD on the third team. Yep. That's not even really a discussion. Like Steven said, I think AD is just flat out better than Bam. I, I think I think AD is better than Bam. I think Bam never sixty. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yo, oh my God. Just, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Criteria. Never mind. Criteria. Never You're gonna show our defensive team, bro, or not? Yeah, yeah I, why we did. What are you talking about? It's right here. No, oh but, no, no. no. The, oh, I didn't. I didn't have enough room to do it. I can tell you guys the defensive team. So, okay, so my defense. Well, I told you my defensive team was go back to the actual yeah, thing. See, that yeah, told us, but yeah, to yeah, my, my defense team is literally this team. It's my defensive team. That's mine too. Yeah, yeah top mine. Top my, I know mine changed. Well, I, I had, I had Bam as center. How many games does Alex have? Alex Caruso, sixty-two, I think. Yeah, he's damn near played a lot. Really? Of games the reason I picked Caruso was he has, um, well, yeah, he has the lowest appointment. He played field sixty-one percentage. games. So it's funny. I and I thought my I I thought I was like going to be breaking ground by picking Caruso, and I literally just watched the, a Bulls game and saw how scrappy he was, and that's the that's literally the reason I put him on. So I didn't look at any advanced stats or anything. I, in fact, I don't even know where, where he is on advanced stats. I literally just watched a Bulls game once and I was like, man, Caruso be, be D and his ass off. And that's why I, like I said, I thought nobody else was going to have Caruso. Lowest field goal, lowest that's point point field goal percentage. Yeah. I, I, I knew not a single stat. I just watched how much, and this is the reason, this is the reason I like Giannis, right? I, I, on defense, I think it's about activity. It's about, um, you know, uh, Given an effort, and I One, I thought Crusoe literally guarded that whole game. Edgar, you had uh Evan Mobley instead of Jaron Jackson, right? Mm-hmm. That's solid. And you had Bam too. Oh no, you had Brook Lopez. You definitely had Brook. No, Lopez. I had Brook. My only other one was uh, I, I like showed Mobley. some love to uh Derek White. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. 
Derek White. Derek White oh, from yeah. the Celtics. Yeah. I think I had, a, I had a lot of. Van mm. I had who? literally shot four people at Crusoe. Van Fleet, like as my alternate. Oh, okay. I'm about to say. I don't remember typing that name. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I literally thought that my Caruso pick was going to be like the most. No, I, I think out of left field. No, I that one was he's, a no-brainer. He's a dying breed. People that actually want to be active and care about defense. So, if you know, Lonzo was playing, I would have. Oh my Lonzo god! All right, y'all. All right, y'all. That's gonna do it because this man is tweaking, bro. <laughs> That's going to do it for another episode of Classic Cultures, all NBA teams. Um, yeah, this is probably going to wrap up until we do playoffs. And what other – there's no really other topics that we could really do. We probably should do this again when everybody gets over 50 games. Because or when LeBron they actually announce. Everybody. Oh, yeah, when they actually announce the NBA teams, we should get on and see who who was right and who was wrong. Who looks the dumbest. Bro, we should you, do uh... – <laughs> Yeah, our yeah, some... uh, um, award winners. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, okay. I mean, we could do that off the top, literally, right now. How many awards are there? It's only like, never, mind. Game, never mind. Right? We, we, never mind. <laughs> we get your most hated player about to bring the game back. Huh? Huh? Said your your least favorite player is about to bring the Warriors back. What's the, oh, score? What's the score now? Down eight. But Brandon Ingram is just keeping him at eight. Oh, Brandon man. Ingram's playing. I thought he was. Brandon Ingram is is like Brandon that. Ingram. Man. Who honestly, Brandon Ingram's probably some people, somebody people should have looked at a little bit. Brandon Ingram's been. I feel like he. Ingram. I feel like he just didn't meet. The, I feel like Brandon Ingram played like ten played. games this season. Yeah, he did not play a lot. <laughs> oh. <long. laughs> yeah, now nah, I, didn't, I didn't look at him, so I'm not. When I'm saying that, I'm, he was out I, with I, the, I He was out with that uh, that toe injury, I think. Yeah, yeah, I did not look. I've Let's watched see. many Pelican games, and I have not seen Brandon Ingram, so I, I couldn't. He played 38. Oh, that's it? Only 38? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Hey, Pelicans would be so good if people played. Jose Alvarado's out. He was a big – Are you a Pelicans that. fan? I, I like the Pelicans. I like their roster. So what's your team? I'm a Knicks fan. Okay. You didn't. You didn't put Brunson. Brunson been hooping. You didn't if think I put of Brunson, Brunson, y'all would have tore me up. I would have put Brunson probably on the second team. So Impact. you did not put Brunson because of controversy. Because not necessarily controversy, but I, the other ones I picked are better than Brunson, realistically speaking. But for me, but he's I, been hooping his ass off. He's been. I think you have a better Impact. argument with Brunson. I think Brunson, especially what he's done is, with New York. Exactly. Impact for me is very important, and I feel like he had a, a definitely a big impact, but. So I feel like was, he's, that was he's the best point guard you guys have had in like the last ten years. Yeah, in your heart of hearts, Bronson would have been on your team. That was personal bias, though. Yeah, Bronson okay. would have been on mine. I respect it. I, I Steven, respect I'm surprised Brunson. you didn't have any Chicago oh, players, bro. Three threes in a row. Ooh. Jordan Poole steal. Down four. What is Bronson giving you this year? Bronson been hooping twenty four. Six and, and like three seven, and four. So. Yeah. Him and him and Randall, like. Yeah, he, Randall's been Randall's been a monster. Randall's the problem with Randall is when the playoffs come, his whole game changes for some reason. He proved that last year, but now we yeah, have well, someone well, else because like in playoff play. basketball they double him. That's all. Yeah, do. you you when the game slows down, and you go into a half court offense, this is when you expose. People who only play 50 games. And pe- no, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. still take nah, I feel like the Knicks, personally, they stepped it up this year. Quickly uh, quickly has been playing really good. R.J. Barrett, still inconsistent. That one, yeah. whatever. Quentin Grimes, I, great pickup. I'm going to be honest. So, I think, we, I think we got the Knicks first round. And I'm concerned. Like, they got a squad. And I, li- I think Bronson is a perfect guard to, like, kind of steady things when they get a little out of order. Um yeah, I, I like Bronson. Hey, we're playing like what, Cleveland? Cleveland? You're a Cleveland fan? I am, all day. Well, you really I like guys. Cleveland. I think, to me personally, Cleveland has the best starting five in the NBA. Uh, I think they're still young. I, I, I mean, and I don't like – I don't Harrison like Bird. the Gar- – Garland. Garland. Right? Garland. I don't like where, whether, it be, like whether it be – Allen and Mobley. Whether it be Seti, whether it be Levert. I, I think we got to go get a legit three-guard. Um, and I, it's crazy because I the three guard we could have had could have been fucking 
Lori, um, but obviously we wouldn't have had uh, Spider. But I think we probably could have made that deal, giving them maybe Seti or somebody else, and keeping Markin in because I like Markin in last year when he played when he played with us. He's gonna I, win Most Improved. Oh yeah, easy, easy. Uh, a dude is, I mean, a seven footer who can shoot. He's, I mean, he's been a shooter since Chicago. I think, I think Utah was the first time that he's really gotten the green well, he got light. The green light, yeah, yeah. That's how it is, though. But I don't hate Steph, man. I just fifty games. That was you are my... a Steph hater, dude. He could play ninety five games, and you find a reason. I, I don't know why y'all think I, I have. I do not hate Steph. <laughs> you are a hater. I think I think part of it is because he had gave you so much nightmares in Cleveland. That's got to be what it is. That, that, <laughs> now now it makes sense. It makes sense now. It makes. Sense. I had a logic. So if I say I. People I expect to play 60 games. My logic stands true, right? Did I not, when I seen that that Dame was not going to meet the 60-game threshold, did I not say, hey, I need to not get Dame down? Yeah. I'm just talking about as a, as a whole, Steph. You don't like Oh, Steph, I, I have respect for Steph. I wouldn't, like him. I wouldn't like him either if he busted my team's ass. I just I said I have all the respect. <laughs> like, the dude is the greatest shooter of all time. Yeah. Number one. I don't yeah, think 30. that's any question. Now, I mean, I don't think he's better. I don't think he's – do I have him top 10? Maybe – I don't know. I, I, I'd have to read. But dude is – I mean, he's 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 literally changed the game. I mean, if you ask me most impactful players to the NBA and NBA style in history, I would absolutely say Steph Curry is probably num- in that five, right? I think Dirk. I think you got to talk Iverson. You got to talk Jordan, um, but Steph has changed the game as much as any player in NBA history. Preston, why are you making that face? I thought he said Dirk for a second. He did say Dirk. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dirk was like the, fr- big big the first face of four. Yeah. shooting big man. I yeah. guess. Like I mean, now we're talking about Carl Anthony Towns, who's who's shooting three. Like every big man now has the ability – I don't want to say every. Most big but, men now – so we're not – Dirk was the first big man to, to yeah, not Yeah, I be think a, he was the first, but it wasn't like there was just a massive wave of them. It took a while for there to be more yeah, – No, 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 I agree. And I, I think I think when you mix that them two, right? So you add Dirk, who was a, 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 a good shooting big, then you have Steph and really just kind of the empowerment and what, what, what I consider the three-point error, and now you have – Joel Embiid shooting threes, right? In 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 the eighties and nineties, Joel Embiid would have been a back to the basket big man. Um, yeah. But now oh, you got Joel Embiid man. shooting threes. Now you got Carl Anthony Towns shooting threes at high numbers. Um, and I think Dirk, Steph are really kind of the leaders of that happening. Especially, like I said, Dirk for big men. Steph all around because literally, Probably, it's ridiculous now. Steph travel. Nah, but I told you called. his ass wasn't impactful. Out there 32 traveling. points in the I'm beginning of the fourth. Down four when they was down 18. Joe hating us. <laughs> I, 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 literally, I literally don't hate Steph. You a and hater, I, bro. I had, I I had an hater. ironclad criteria. My criteria was iron. It stood the test. My criteria was ironclad. I think I'm the only person who had legit criteria. No, you didn't. If you had criteria, how did I not have criteria? We had the same thing, had, a different number. You had the- no, because you didn't have LeBron on your list. You didn't LeBron have LeBron is on my list. Oh, he was. That's right. You're right. Yeah, I didn't have Devin Booker because I didn't. I don't think he's better than the other six names I have. Not because of his games played. My criteria was. My, Devin Booker my, averaged twenty eight point one points per game. That's what does that mean? Five and five. What, what do you I mean? Can, what does I, that mean? No, he played. He's gonna. He would play enough games. That doesn't mean he's better than other players. I'm not saying that he didn't make the criteria, but he just wasn't better than other. What? Players. Th- well, okay. Tell me your six guards. My six guards were Damon Luca. He's not better than either of those guys. He's not better than Fox or Shea, and he's not better than Jalen Brown or Donovan Mitchell. What are you what are you squinting for? Like you got maced. You're telling me what you're never mind. Never mind. No, no, I want you to say it. I want you to say no. it so I can answer your I think your he's question. better than both of your better. But now again, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this because okay. I, I'm gonna say this very carefully. Again, remember my criteria. So I have both of those players above above Devin Booker on my all NBA team. However, again, remember my criteria. Okay. I think Devin Booker as a player this is season, better. this season, this season. Make sure you say this season. Because this is this all NBA team is this for this season. season. If I season, if I season, again I dock Devin Booker for games missed. Okay. That is why I docked him. Okay. If I said all things being the same, mm-hmm. I think I have him over. Oh, what's that dude's name? Shy Shay. What's his Shea, name? He's not better than Shay. No, he's no, no. I'm saying. Shea. I said I'm giving him. I'm giving him Shay. Okay. Shea's Damon Luca. Had, Damon Luca. You can't question those. Shay's had a better season. I, I think I got him better than De'Aaron though. I, I don't. I don't agree with that. Again, I give De'Aaron the spot. Because of games played, I and, and and again I'm not knocking. This is not a knock at De'Aaron. De'Aaron is hooping. I'm not in any way trying to. But I think Devin Booker's. I think if you ask me to take one of these players for a season, I'm taking mm-hmm. Devin Booker over De'Aaron Fox. See, but that's that's what I'm. You're not understanding. I would do the same thing. I right. think Devin so, Booker okay. is a better. I, I think Stephen Curry is a better player than everybody on this list at my guard spot. But I'm not taking okay. them. Right now is what but, I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. You say that's what I'm saying. You're saying you dock Steph for games played, right? Not for or or you you no, think Steph no, had a bad no, year? No, no, I don't think he had a bad year. I just think the other six have had better seasons, better seasons than him this year. That's why I'm I have treating Booker. Same, treat, wait, wait, wait. The same I thing with the hard. same thing with Devin Booker. So I look at Devin Booker. I look at De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox has a better record than Devin Booker. He has more clutch time points than Devin Booker. And he's on a worse team than Devin Booker. You're looking at pieces for pieces. I think the Suns are better than the Kings. Uh, you think – I think people are sleeping on – and, again, this is known. I think people are sleeping on that Kings roster. Now, if you look at now, and if you look at now with KD and all that, but I don't include KD when I look at the Suns team because KD has played three games. So if I take – I think that, that Kings roster is really good. And I'm telling, like, they are really good. I think people are sleeping on them, but they got some real hookers on that team. No, they they are good, but my point is, is De'Aaron Fox is the entire focal point of that team. I think if you take De'Aaron Fox off that team, I disagree. I think, honestly, I think it could be debated that Sabonis is the most impactful player on that team. No. So when you but when you're saying impactful, are you saying because of rebounds? What do you, I mean? Because of because of every, right. I'm not just talking points, right? Because like I'm I said, De'Aaron you. Fox. He is by the numbers the most clutch player in the NBA this season. That yeah, no is that is statistically that's that's not my opinion. That's I, I, he's the most yeah, clutch. Said, no, no, not to, so not, that, not that's 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 why I have him higher. The only person that I can see right now that if I if I had to move Devin Booker in, who I could have an argument for, would be maybe Donovan Mitchell or Jalen Brown. But the other four, it's not even close. I don't think De'Aaron Fox, Shea, Dame, and Luca, not yeah, even yeah, close. No, no. I, I, I'm just saying if I took if I took it for me if I took. Games played out of it. I probably would have had Devin Booker over Fox. That's, but again, that's me. If I if I took it out, I probably and honestly, if I took it out, I probably would have had Steph on my list over De'Aaron Fox. I feel like Devin Booker this season was less impactful than he was in other seasons. Compared I'm not, to others. I'm not gonna do this again. All right. What do you mean? Right. Dev. Devin Booker averaged the most points he's ever averaged. 28. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. He's not. Never mind. I'm, never mind. But, yeah. So, let's see. Let's see what Devin Booker did today. Let's see. Hey, like I said, I, I knocked. When I say I knocked Steph, I knocked LeBron. I knocked AD. I knocked Devin Booker. It wasn't, it was simply for me because of games played. Right. When I look at De'Aaron Fox, and again, De'Aaron Fox is probably one of my favorite players, especially to watch. Um, but I don't think I, I don't think now do I think that he's having a better season? Yes, but I think he's having a better season when I include the number of games he's played into the equation. What do you mean? Like, like I think the fact that he's played so many games mm-hmm. is what has helped him have a better season than Steph Curry, who probably, and, and I don't know Steph Curry's numbers outside of 
points, who's probably has, who definitely has more points per game and probably has similar, similar numbers in the other stats. I put, huh? As as De'Aaron Fox. Steph versus De'Aaron Fox. I think so I'm saying it's higher than him on every category, I'm pretty sure. So so I'm saying the reason I put Steph below Deer and Fox is because of the number of games played. Because I think that is to me what is making De'Aaron and Fox have a better season than Steph Curry. Not that he's better than Steph Curry, not that Okay, he, wait, now I have a hypothetical. I have a hypothetical. Just to it. just to check to see if what you're saying, your criteria is really true. Okay. If your criteria was 60 games, right? Mm-hmm. So Steph has – so let's say Steph hit exactly 60. Where would he be on your list right now? Who? Because he would have I'm, better numbers than – Honestly, at, 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 at 60, he's probably he, – he's, he's probably one, first or second team. Now, I mean, again, my first and second team, I went back and forth with, with, with John SGC, SGA. Um but yeah, he's probably first or second team, especially if we're talking about at thirty points a game, yada yada yada. He, yeah, he's probably first or second team. He would be second for me. Okay. Who would you have? Damon oh, Lucas. Yeah, I think both of so, them had better so, season than them. Now let me I, see. This is because I got to do that for everybody, and if I do it for everybody, because I didn't look at that, I'd have to bump up Dame because the only thing to me that knocked Dame down is the number of games. So if I had to do it. For Steph and Dame, then yeah, I probably put Dame. So I probably put Dame in my first team. So yeah, Steph's probably second, second or third. Because I think if I if if we say what Dame did in his however many games he played, if he did that over whatever, or I just throw out number of games played, I mean, if I throw out numbers of games played, yeah, Dame may be a first team, first team All NBA for me. Dame is hooped. I knock him for the 24 games he's going to miss. That's the literally the only thing I'm knocking him for. I'm not knocking him for stats. I'm not knocking him for impact outside of the lack of impact in 24 games. Yeah, I think um, realistically it'll probably be me and uh, me and Eggers top five for the real all NBA team. I think it's going to be. You think be. Dame's going to be a first team? Yeah, I think he will. Mm, Depending I'd on – I, I don't know if they do um, – Point guard and shooting guard, though. No, they do it like we did. Guard, guard, I, forward, I, forward, center. I don't think I don't think Dame's going to be a first team because of games played. They have a projected one out already. They should. Um, they should. No, it doesn't come out until you no, said no, no, a projected one. It usually comes out like at sixty. Yeah, project, I'm sure projected ones are out. I think he'll. Um... Here, Bleacher Report has one right here. What do they got? 13, Donovan Mitchell, Darren Fox, Kevin Durant, Markinen, and Kevin Davis. Durant. Yep, wait, wait, wait. When was that posted? When was that posted though? No, they, they have they have Steph on first team. When was it posted though? Um because if it was posted a month and a half ago, it was before KD. March twenty first. Oh, so, so yeah, literally was a week ago. K- KD forward, third team, Laurie Markinen forward, A D center. Second team is Damian Lillard. Shea, Jimmy Butler, Kawhi, Joel. First team, Kawhi? Luka. Kawhi. Yep. Kawhi. First team, Luca, Steph, Giannis, Tatum, and Jokic. So I got three of them. I had Kawhi oh, no, four, on mine, but four, since four we five, said four, the 50, 50 games, but I took them off. I had Kawhi second. Wow. Pure, just pure impact. I put Kawhi over Butler. How many games okay. did he play? Kawhi has played Kawhi? Like 47. 40, so, I mean, yeah, technically he might hit 50, depending if he plays three of the last seven. He could hit 50. I would, I would definitely change Kawhi. He, he <laughs> definitely is going to be playing those games just so that he, they can secure a spot, bro. I don't Love see him saying no. He's averaging 23, 6, and 4. What is Jimmy Butler averaging? Like Probably 20, like 22, So 23, 6, six and 4 and... compared to 23, 6, and 5. So Jimmy Butler has better stats than him. Yeah, I'm still taking Kawhi, though, just for the impact of the team, for the Clippers. No PG. He's been literally carrying the team on his back. Jimmy at least has Bam and Tyler Hero carrying some some type of load. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. 
<laughs> Preston is crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> really, Preston, is cr- Preston is crazy, bro. <laughs> that boy Larry Nance just airballed a three. To this hey, guy. wait. How much has uh, Kawhi played, bro? Uh, he's played 47. <laughs> and what's he average? So, I, I mean, I think most of us got three or five. Because I got three or five. I had Lukum, Tatum, and Giannis. He said Lukum. Um, <laughs> I got I four out of five. I got five out of five. Who has five out of five? Oh, Tap. Tap has five out of five. Steph. And you talking crazy about Steph. You have five out of five, boy. Five. I got Listen, five. That is, not, that is Bleacher Reports. And this only goes to prove that Tap be copywriting like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't figure it I out. I defended my step pick to the death. <laughs> we, we didn't figure it out. You didn't and have he step said, on your list at all. He was the first one. He said, don't beat your poor guy one already. <laughs> <laughs> he went right to the – he had it saved and everything. That's crazy. I Googled the shit. <laughs> and that was the first one that came up. Wait a minute. Let me look at this motherfucking up. team. Mitchell. Oh, De'Aaron Fox. Where do you have De'Aaron Fox? Okay, you got him on your second team. Okay. All right, I just had to check. And you don't have KD. Okay, all right. Dad, you got... Yeah, I don't... That Steph one is hard. Let me see what Bleacher Report says about Steph. <clears throat> Larry Nance in the corner. Lead on the open. Come on. Give it to the best player on the team. The player with 30 points. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I bleach a report because I'm kind of reading these. They went by the strict 50 games. And if you got 50, then then, then I they're not docking games. And maybe that's how the All-NBA committee or people who make those teams – We'll look at it too, and like I said, if they do, then if if I if I looked hard fifty, nothing else, you make fifty, you're good. I throw you know what's crazy? number. You know what's crazy? I didn't even I didn't know this. So he has his best true shooting percentage this season of all time of his whole career this season. Bro, Steph is yeah, shooting forty three percent from three, bro. That's that's crazy. Yeah, if I considering if I the amount, the, uh, like the amount of attempts that he throws out, forty three percent. That's crazy. Think about. Yeah, if I if I threw out number of games missed and just said if you're over fifty, you're good, and if you're under, you're not, then yeah, my list would look different. It would look way different. Like I said, at that point in time, I got to consider a LeBron who's giving you dang near thirty eight and eight. I gotta yeah, like I gotta I gotta at least look at Devin Booker. Um, I gotta like there's it's I think that's a game changer. I just think. Missing and what Steph is going to be near what do you, what does he get right now? Near what? How many games has he played so far? 50 even. So he's at 50. So we're looking, like let's just say 55 ish. I mean, or let's just say 56, 56 games. I mean, that's still missing what 26. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a, that's like I said, that's 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 almost a third of the season. We should um do the top twenty five one for this season. Top twenty five players this season. For this season, yeah, because mm-hmm. Kawhi is moving down my list. To where? To off the list. He, was he was he on your list last time? <laughs> yeah, it was number twenty one. Hey, hey, he he better <laughs> he better put. Booker on it this year for all the oh all yeah the, that's crazy. all the praise yeah, that crazy. you've been giving him because so, you did not have him on your hold top up, twenty five coming in one. this year which was I, absurd. I was giving I was giving Booker praise to make a point. It wasn't oh I love Booker. It was so so know, Devin Booker is not a top twenty five. Be on your damn top twenty five list. I, I, I don't have my list. I don't know. No, I'm not bro. going. Wait, you got what six guards? Booker better be seventh on your list. The Listen, best guard saying, on your list. I was making a point. That's that's I I can make no guarantees for Booker. I was making a point. Same with same with LeBron. I was making a point. So if we do do a updated top twenty five, we do need to set a criteria. What do you mean? No, I like just that. on 
I like the I like the idea, and you know, like I said, I know the the difference, but I like the idea of everybody setting their criteria, their own criteria, because I think if we all just went simply with one criteria, this would have been much less of a conversation. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not saying they have to play 60 games or 70. They can miss a good amount, but what's a good amount? Because Stephen told me the 50, and I told him that I'm not – like the 50 isn't I, – I think 50 is, 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 is too low, and my criteria is going to be different than just the 50. So I think having your own criteria, especially if we're talking about best players this season. like yeah. If it's a best players of the season, I feel like you that should be – your own criteria because it's good. we're gonna let you know if you sound ridiculous or not. Like if you got Kawhi, like if you put list. Kawhi, yeah, if you put Kawhi on there, <laughs> okay. What do you mean? That's not even a bad take. That's not a bad take. Oh, okay. to top twenty five is not bad. bad. Do you have him top twenty five? Right, well, not bad. He's actually he's so, so games. My, problem, he's, my problem with Kawhi has never been the talent, right? The, my problem. So this is. Let me say this: If I did a top twenty five right now for this year, like I probably wouldn't have Zion on my list. And Zion was on my list last year. But he missed way more games. He only played 38 games. Or he's only played like 20 something games. I said he would not be on my list. I just said he wouldn't be on my list. No, but you're com- but you're saying that in reference to Kawhi though, is what I'm saying. That's what we're talking about yeah, Kawhi. I'm saying neither one of them would be yeah. on my list. Due to games played. Due to games played. Because how many games has Kawhi he said was that say 50 or no? He's no, almost Kawhi. at 50. What is he at? Oh, he's at forty. He he's at forty-seven. Yeah, so that means anybody okay. around that, I, I, around I, I, that, yeah. Because like Kawhi's missed more games than him. Only three less than Steph. I mean, he's right around. No, no, no. Uh, no. I, I, I thought I, I again. I'm saying I mm-hmm. thought he was like I thought he was. I mean, was obviously, much less than, as long as he would have been top ten player, for me, but I mean, I think as long as you don't, have, like as long as you don't have a player that missed more yeah, than half the season, that's what matters. Go to the league. Yeah, yeah, the best player. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> when y'all when y'all want to do this top twenty five? At the end of the season. Three, at three. the end of the season. Yeah, uh-huh. at the end of the regular season. That way all the every all these games can yeah, then we know meet exactly your dad's criteria. Yeah, there you go. So at the end of the season. First day of the play in. Kawhi's played almost fifty. Yeah, that's, that's very surprising. I man, it seems like he's missed the whole season to me. Yeah. You know why? It's because you're a hater. That's why. Oh, it's just because you know why? he because he misses a lot of that. games. That's no. why. Because he misses Wild a lot every season. No, but you you literally you compared him to Zion. Zion's only played half the amount that he's played. So the fact that you, you compared him to that is crazy. Well, that's because Kawhi's been like off and on for like Let, you four act like years. Kawhi has played a like Kawhi misses. A, are you? Would you agree, Kawhi? Season after season, just like Zion, has missed a lot of games. Yes, since Toronto. Yes, but he he's had. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. No, no, but in, but this season, but th- even this season, it's not like he. And he I six I games. literally he compared him to Zion Toronto. to say, I had Zion on my list at the beginning of the season. I would take Zion off. So I am saying I am putting them in the same bucket. They both missed a lot of games. Like I said, but when I said that, I did not know that that Kawhi's almost played 50 games. I thought he was much less. Yeah. But so I said. Oh shit! Fit. He's almost played fifty games. Damn, I may have to relook at that. You may have to put him on your list. He probably's not gonna make my list, but at least he may be an honorable mention now. <laughs> Ain't no way this. He has to be on your list. There's no he, way. Hey, he's moving down from twenty-one. He was twenty-one, hey, and he's moving. I ain't even. Man, I don't think. Let's just be real. Now let's be real. Wait, how can he move down from twenty-one when he didn't even play the season before and you had him at twenty-one? That doesn't make sense. No, uh, he's well, not saying well, about that one. You he's, had him at 21, and he was yes. coming off a torn ACL. He, so how can you say he's yeah, going he down? He did not play at all. After coming back and playing good, yeah, because he, he didn't show me nothing this year either. We just keep going. <laughs> yo, see that that is that is like that's actual hate. That's what I'm talking about. Like that, you're you're that's literally what a hater would say. Let's be honest. Let's be real with each other. Okay, let's be real with each other. Has Kawhi <laughs> had an impact this season? Let's be real. Yes. 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 What do you mean? Has he had an impact? Look at the Clippers' record. What kind of question is that, bro? A negative y'all, one. Y'all, y'all really, y'all like Kawhi's out there really doing it. No, but I'm not saying that. But, I'm, but that's that's, that's no, but what I'm saying is, you had him as a top 25 player when he had a torn knee 
and now he's come back and played, and you're saying he's gotten worse. He, that's you know what that's called. I know no, no. that's called not, hating. No. That's what's called hating. I'm not saying hater. that's what he's drinking, this. bro. He drinking Let me say this. Let me say this. You're hating. Bro. There you're are hating. people that were not on my list. That were not on anybody's list at the beginning of the season. That I guarantee are going to be on people's list. It's not that Kawhi got worse. It's like that Shay, I don't think was on many people's list. Yes, he was. was yes, he? he was. Yes, he was. I don't think no, he was bro, on... we we didn't have Shay. None of yeah, us. Had I don't, him. I, he may have and been we, on the list. If we did, too. we had him at like so honorable he was mention, right around, bro. He was right around twenty five ish. He, I, I, I'm pretty sure he was on my list. If not, he was right there. I, I I'll pull them list back up. I get. I, still I, I, mean, I don't. I, I don't think I have had, him anymore. I think people had him honorable, but I don't think many people had him on the list. And who um, else? Could you I had Shay honorable mention. Who else? Yeah, honorable mention. Who else? I mean, let's just look at this list. Luke, uh, Markinen? Sabonis. Sabonis, Sabonis? is going to be on the list. Markinen is not better than Kawhi. <laughs> if I'm talking, oh. do I think he had a better... So so how are we doing this? Better season or better player? Better player this year. Coming off of this year. Who's a better player? Coming off of this year. Overall? Yeah. Okay. All right. That's a different... I thought we were saying the 25 best... People for this. I mean, we could do this season. Saying, that's fine. We could do this season, but I mean, because if if I if I again, yes, Kawhi is a better player than Markinen. Markinen had to me a better season than Kawhi. I don't even a think better he had a better. Season. I don't think he even had a better season than him. He just played more games, made him eligible for the thing. Now, I don't. Honest. I I didn't even know Kawhi, I didn't even know Kawhi played fifty games. I thought hey, Kawhi Seth got thirty five. By the way, twenty games. <laughs> that's that boy doing it. Well, look at him. Look at him. If only he did that in the twenty two games he missed. <laughs> we might be talking about something. You proved my point for me. 12 Tap to 22. In. Yeah. First yeah, team all guard. First yeah, team all win. guard is crazy. Yeah, Bleach, Bleach Report. That's where Bleach Report had him. You're right. That is exactly <laughs> where Bleach Report had him. Well, I will say this. I'm almost positive he'll be on one of these teams. Marketing is having oh, a better sure. season than Kawhi. Huh? He is having a better season than Kawhi. Marketing's hooping. Y'all sleeping on y'all playing marketing. Let me say this. If I do best overall players, right? Because then at that point, I then gotta I gotta look at KD as who who I think KD can be. And really, then I'm talking about the best players, because that's that's two different lists. The top 25 looking at this last season, I'm only looking at this last season. The top 25 best players, I think I'm looking at where they are going into the next season. So that's two completely different yeah. lists. If if I say who are the top twenty five players this season, that is a different list than who are the top twenty five players. Yeah. Well, we now again, so so if I do that, then yes, Kawhi's probably in my top twenty five. Uh, Shea probably moves into my top twenty five. But yeah, people like Mark and him probably don't move in, and this uh, the list probably doesn't change much, to be honest. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think even if we did a top 25 players of the season, Markin and I have trouble getting in on my list of this uh, season. I think. I think if I did top 25 players of this season, Markin would be on my list. I, I think he'll be between like 21 and 25. Just because. No, I'm, not, of, I'm not saying he's top 10. I'm just. Well, the I'm reason why I'm saying that is because I would take guards over him, but I couldn't put guards over him on this. Right. So, that's, that, so there's other players that, like, for example, I'm taking Kyrie over him, I'm taking Steph yeah, over so him. So if we said, so, knowing what we know now, and that's why I said that I, I think this is where maybe some criteria makes sense. Uh, like Edgar said, I think no, if we said knowing what we know now, who are the top 25 players in the NBA, then yeah, that's a different list than the top 25 season, the, the, the top 25 players of this past season. Yeah, I think we should do of this past season. Makes the most sense. And just go from Ooh, there. Go to stage just announced Wiggins is not returning this season. Really? Damn, boy, those really ain't his kids. That's crazy. <laughs> There's problems. Yeah, not returning this season. Where do you see that? Oh, my uh, God, bro. Hoping. 39. <laughs> you a little behind. What do you mean? His thing, because he had already had 39. On my... yeah, they're up 15 now. Um, they just hit a three? Yeah, know. they're up eight, uh, 118, 103. Yeah, mine's 115, 103. So who is this three? Clay? Yeah, and they – Oh, I, oh they, my God. Wow. It's crazy. 
Who hit it? Clay. Uh, yeah. Warriors hopeful Wiggins will return next season. He not coming back. Warriors. Next season. Next, next season? season. next season. Oh, Warriors. I'm sorry. This season. This oh, season. Oh. I'm sorry. Not even. Oh, sorry. What what the the ain't even gonna play in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> The I'm Warriors, sorry. like, ball movement is heavily reliant on a strong forward that can face up. You know what he's relying on. All right, y'all. That's your point. He's hey. relying on Steph. All right, y'all. We're going to hit y'all next time because now we're being petty-betty. All right, y'all. <laughs>